Morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, wherever you're out in the world. Welcome to Last Rouse Baseball's live commentary of the DuPont Professional Baseball League. Tonight, we are going to be bringing you the Chibalote Marines and the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles. It is a packed house in Tohoku for this one, as it will be a matchup of Masara Fuji versus Roki Sasaki. And a lot of people are probably coming out to see the Fireballer and the star for the Marines in Sasaki. We're going to give you first the starting lineup for the visitors from Chiba. And leading off and playing shortstop tonight is number four, Atsuki Tomosuji. Batting second in center field is number 25, Hiromi Oka. Hitting third in left field is number 22, Gregory Polanco. In the cleanup spot and wearing number 99 is Neftali Soto. Batting fifth and doing the catching is number 32, Toshia Sato. Batting sixth in right field is number 51, Koki Yamaguchi. Batting seventh at third base is number eight, Shogo Nakamura. Batting at the eighth spot and playing first base is number 39, Seichiro Oshida. And batting ninth and playing second base is number 57, Ryusi Ogawa. And they are going to be facing Masaru Fuji, who takes to the hill. He's got no record this year. In his first start, he went five innings. He allowed eight hits. He had given up two runs. Both were earned. He'd walked none and struck out one. And he pitched to an ERA of 3.60. Well, that's your starter's. For Chiba, now the year starters for the home team, the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles. Leading off in right field, wearing number 51 is Yuya Ogo. Batting second playing shortstop is number 66, Itsuki Murray Biashi. Batting third at third base is number three, Hideto Asamura. In the cleanup spot and doing the designated hitting is number 35, Hiroki Shimauchi. Batting fifth in left field is number 27, Takeru Okajima. Batting in the sixth spot and playing first base is number seven, Daichi Suzuki. Batting seventh in center field is number eight, Ryosuke Tatsumi. Batting in the eighth spot and wearing number two is Hikara Oda. And batting ninth at second base, wearing number zero is Hiroto Kobakata. And they are going to be facing the star of the night, which is Roki Suzaki. He is 1-0 this year in two starts. He's got 12 innings under his belt. He has given up nine hits. He has allowed three runs. All were earned. He's walked three and struck out 16, and he's got a 2.25 ERA. Well, those are your starting lineups. Fuji is on the hill getting ready to get his warm-up tosses in, and we'll be ready to get this one going in under 60 seconds. Stick around with us, everybody. Appreciate you whether you listen live or on delay. It is Marines versus Golden Eagles baseball on the Last Rouse Baseball YouTube channel when we return after this. Welcome back, everybody. These two clubs are flirting with the 500 mark as the season begins. The Marines are right at the 500 mark at 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. Toku Racket and Golden Eagles are 5-7-1 and one to get the season going. And what is expected of these clubs? I would think that both of these two teams would be fighting for that last playoff spot in the Pacific League. So here we go as we're ready to get underway. The first pitch of the ballgame is a fastball that misses outside. We are underway at 2.01 Japan time, local time. Tomosuji, who leads it off, hitting 378, no homers and a couple RBIs, takes a fastball at the knees for a called strike, and now the count is even at 1-1. One and one. Fuji, the left-hander here, getting the start tonight for the Golden Eagles, works himself to the set position, and now he kicks and fires. It's a fastball swung on. This is lined up the middle for a base hit. It's going to get into center field. And Tomosuji is aboard with a leadoff single here in inning number one. And that is going to bring up the center fielder, Hiromi Oka. And for Oka on the season, he has struggled a little bit at the plate in the early going. He's hitting 233. He's got no homers and three runs driven in. Oka does play a good center field, and he brings some serious speed to the lineup. As he bats here from the right side against the left-hander, he really holds his bat 
way out in front of it, almost lays it down, and then he gets it into that launch position as he takes a first pitch fastball for a called strike. The count is 0-1. So no balls and one strike to Oka. Lefty working himself to the set position, and now here comes the offering. As he kicks and delivers, it's a breaking ball that drops in for a called strike. The count now goes to 0-2 on Oka. Full slate of games around the NPB, and there are other early starts. Along with this one here, other games that are underway are the game at the Baluna Dome between the Lions and the Hawks. There's also a game that will start in less than 30 minutes between the Tigers and the Dragons. That's at the Bantolin Dome in Nagoya. So no balls and two strikes here to Oka. As the lefty flipped it over to first base and diving back in time was Tomosuji. And here's the pitch. It is a fastball swung on, grounded through the four hole into right field. A nice piece of hitting there by Oka, rounding second and heading to third, and the throw goes in, not in time. Nice piece of running there by Tomosuji. He's able to go first to third on that knock. And the Marines have something brewing here in the top of the first inning. Nice piece of hitting there by Oka to stay inside the ball, take it the other way. The throw to third was offline and not in time. And so nice piece of running there by Tomosuji. So well-executed baseball by the Marines. And that's going to bring up the left fielder, Gregory Polanco. And Polanco off to a good start this year. He's got a 292 batting average in the early going with a homer and three runs driven in. A major run producer here for the Marines, and he's also followed by Neftali Soto. So both of those players can flex their muscle in the middle part of the batting order. So the lefty Fuji checks the runner at first as he comes set. Now he kicks and delivers. It's a fastball that misses down for a ball, and the count is 1-0 and to Polanco. Lefty versus lefty matchup here. As Polanco is... Facing Fuji for the first time tonight. Lefty holds to the set position. Here comes the offering. Kicks and delivers. That's a breaking ball. Waved out and missed. And the count runs even to one and one. So one ball and one strike. Last night we were on the call of the Hawks and the Lions. And it was two grand slams in the same game by Otake Yamakawa. What highlighted the night. Drove in eight of the 11 runs. Absolutely incredible. And the throw over to first base and getting back in time is the base runner, Oka. So Tomosuji, the runner at third. Oka, the runner at first. Nobody out here in the top of the first. Gregory Polanco at the plate. Looking to do some immediate damage. Healthy crowd, as we said today, in Tohoku for this one. 1-1 one, one on the way. And it's a breaking ball swung on and it squirts away from the catcher. I don't know if they ruled that as a foul ball or not, but the Runner at first, Oko, Oka stays put. That's going to run the count to one and two. So one ball and two strikes to Polanco. Polanco getting the start in left field tonight. Curious to see what he has left as an outfielder. When he was with the Pittsburgh Pirates, there was Starling Marte, Andrew McCutcheon, and Gregory Polanco patrolling the outfield. And Polanco, and it was definitely when he was younger, was able to run and move. He had some issues with his lower back towards the latter part of his big league career, and now he has found the home in Chiba, and he seems to be fitting in quite well, staying healthy at least the last couple of years. Second year with the Marines, last year with Chiba, and the year before that he came over with the Yamuri Giants, so finding a home in Japan. Again, they throw over to first base, and again diving back is Oka in plenty of time. So one ball and two strikes to Polanco. Fuji works himself to the belt. Here comes the offering. He kicks and delivers. It's a breaking ball missing down and away, and the count now goes to two and two on Polanco. One thing that I will say about the Marines is that over the last few years when we've been watching their games, they have got their international players right. They've had production, whether it been Leonis Martin or Brandon Laird, 
Now they've got Polanco and Soto. They seem to always get production. Even Edney Hachevaria gave them some production at times too. As that fastball misses down and away, count now goes to three and two. On the flip side of the coin, the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles offensively have always seemed to struggle with their import players that have come in. Never been great fits, at least over the last few seasons. A very domestic heavy lineup and not getting the impact from the import players that one would expect. There's a fastball that misses down. That's going to be ball four. Polanco's going to be aboard with a walk, and that's going to load the bases. So now you've got Tomosuji at third, Oka at second, Polanco at first, and that's going to bring Neftali Soto to the plate. And the pitching coach is on a full-on sprint to the mound to have a word with his young left-hander, Fuji. Certainly don't want to let this game get out of hand in the first inning when you're facing the Chiba ace. It can be tough at a premium to score some runs. Soto on the season batting 340 in the early going, Homer and six RBI. So he hasn't skipped the beat since joining his new ball club. Soto in his first season with Chiba was a longtime member of the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars. In fact, he spent six seasons with Yokohama. Had some very productive years with the Bay Stars. In his early journey to Japan, he had hit 41 and 43 homers in his first two years, but he's progressively declined every year since 25, 21, 17, and 14. Not to mention that his at bats have been trimmed back a little bit as well. There's a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is 0 and 1. Soto had spent time in the major leagues with the Cincinnati Reds organization. And he actually had some productive moments there as well, but not enough space in the big league roster for him to perform. There's a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into right field, drifting toward in foul territory. And it looks like we have lost sight of it. And it looks like that the right fielder, Ogo, has run out of real estate. That is going to be a foul ball here. So it's no balls and two strikes to Soto. Even if he would have caught it, that ball hit the wall as Ogo had slid in. I don't know if I would have probably wanted him necessarily to catch it because it would have been an easy tag up for the runners at second and third. So in some ways, that's not the worst thing that the ball ended up hitting the side wall there and landing foul. This will give Fuji an opportunity to try to get the out here with out limiting up, giving up a run. So base is loaded, two strikes here to Soto. Here comes the 0-2. Fuji kicks and delivers, and it's spiked into the ground. Nice block there by the catcher, Oda. That's going to run the count to one ball and two strikes. So one ball and two strikes to Soto. As we said, it's Tomosuji at third, Oka at second, and Polanco the runner at first. Chiba fans are in good attendance here tonight. Cheering their ball club on. Here comes the 1-2 offering as the lefty works to the set. He kicks and he delivers. It's a fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to 2-2, two and two, Neftali Soto. Marines looking to flex their muscle here to get themselves over the 500 mark as they sit right at that button of 6-6-1. Six, six, and one. Golden Eagles floundering just below that mark at 5-7-1. and one. Here comes the 2-2. Two, two. As the lefty delivers, it's a fastball swung on and grounded foul just past the third base coach's box, and the count remains at 2-2. Two two. I mentioned the teams that are probably battling for that last playoff spot are these two here, the Eagles and the Marines. It'll depend on who gets hot at some point. Can rattle off a bunch of wins. I, I still think the Buffaloes and the Hawks are the teams to beat in the Pacific. They should go 1-2. Fighters will start getting into the conversation here in another year or so. Breaking ball, waved out and missed, and Soto is in the books for strength three. That's a big strikeout here for Fuji. As he puts Soto in the books, one gone with the bases loaded. Now that brings up Tashia Sato, who is a double play candidate. So if he can keep the ball on the ground here and get out of the jam, it would be big for the Golden Eagles. 
So Sato off to a great start this season, batting 391. He's got no homers and an RBI. Stepping to the plate here with the bases loaded and one gone. Lefty working to the set, kicks and delivers, fastball misses down and away for a ball, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Sato, a career 220 hitter, as we said, off to that great start this year. He does have a little bit of extra base pop. He had four homers last year. As the pitch is on the way, it is a breaking ball that misses down. They appeal to the third base umpire. But they say he didn't go. The count now is 2-0 and o to Sato. As we said, he had four home runs last year. He also had 12 doubles and a triple. So he had 17 extra base hits in his 239 at-bats. And here comes the 2-0 pitch. There's a fastball that misses inside, and the count now goes to 3-0. Well, there's nowhere to put him as the bases are loaded. He's going to get something fat to hit here. So the pitcher, Fuji, hasn't quite got command of his pitches yet. Rio 0 offering ready to come on its way. Here's the pitch. Fastball carves the plate right in half. Runs the count now to three and one. So three balls and one strike. Our Saturday night crowd is usually a late arriving crowd. Typically speaking, the UFC fights dominate before our gang starts showing up. Here's the 3-1 pitch. Fastball that just misses outside. That's going to be ball four. Sato thought it was a strike. The catcher thought it was a strike. But that's going to be a bases loaded walk as Sato picks himself up an RBI. It's going to bring home Tomosuji with the first run of the ball game. And then it'll be Oka advancing to third. And Polanco moving to second. That's going to bring up the right fielder, Koki Yamaguchi. Well, for Yamaguchi, he's off to a bit of a sluggish start. He's hitting 196, no homers and a couple RBIs. He is getting the start in right field tonight. Last year, he saw quite a bit of duty at first base. He can post play the outfield and in the infield. He bats from the right side here. As he waits on the first offering from Fuji, and the pitch is on the way. It is a fastball that just misses outside. And you could tell the catcher is not very happy. He held that pitch for a little extra long. Then he got up and strode around the plate to throw the ball back. But you can tell he's not happy with the home plate umpire and some of the decisions. That probably goes back to the last pitch to, to Shia Sato. So one ball and no strikes it is. As the lefty works to the set position, here comes the pitch. Breaking ball, take it for a called strike. The count now goes even to one and one. The breaking ball has been a better pitch tonight so far for Fuji in terms of location. He's been able to, A, throw it for strikes, and B, to induce swings. The fastball, on the other hand, he's had a problem being able to locate. He's not that far off, though. Hopefully, if he can get through the first, it might allow him to have a little bit more success. There's a fastball that has swung on and missed. The count now goes to 1-2 and two to Yamaguchi. So one ball and two strikes. Left-hander versus the right-hander as the lefty holds to the set position. Here comes the offering, the 1-2 on the way. Fastball swung on, and it's lifted foul into the stands behind the first base side of home plate. The count remains at one and two. So one ball and two strikes. 27 pitches already for the left-hander here in the first inning. As Fuji again gets his sign from his catcher, Oda, trying to wiggle his way out. One gone here in the inning. And the pitch on the way to Yamaguchi. It's a breaking ball in the dirt, and the count now goes to 2-2. Two and two. In his first outing last week against the Fukuoka Ball Club, Fuji had thrown 78 pitches in his five innings of work. And he is almost on his way halfway to that total here in the first inning. 
So I wonder what the managerial and the staff is thinking for the Golden Eagles, how long a leash they're going to have with Fuji here. After this, there's a fastball swung on. This ball is lined down the left field line, just off the glove of the third baseman. It hits the wall. That's going to bring Oka in. It's also going to score Polanco from second. And sliding into third base, all the way from first is Sato. What a bizarre play that was. It looked like if he would have caught the ball, it was off of the glove of Hideto Asamura. If he catches that ball, probably got themselves a potential double play. And the Marine flags are out, and they are flying in Japan here. It's not going to be an error. We'll see how that, that ends up here. We're going to take a look at the replay ourselves. Ball was absolutely a missile. And you can see just off the glove of Asamura, just if he was a little bit taller, a little bit longer, he would have been able to have it. But that kept the ball in fair territory. So he's got himself a double does Yamaguchi and two RBIs. And the first pitch delivered to Nakamura is outside for a ball, and the count is 1-0. and oh. Shogo Nakamura getting the start at third base tonight. A little unfamiliar territory for him, or at least in our eyes. So runners at second and third, already a couple on the board, and the Eagles are brought the defense in here as there's a fastball delivered for a called strike, and the count is one and one. Three nothing ball game, top of the first, and the Marines are still threatening. Left hander works himself set. Here comes the pitch. That's a breaking ball swung on and lifted foul behind home plate. One and two now to Nakamura. Nakamura's hitting 213 on the season. He's got no homers and two RBIs. Nakamura, as we said, normally we see him as the second baseman. This is more of moving him off into that other spot. We get the look at Ogawa tonight at second. Youngster getting the nod. Here comes the one, two. Fastball misses outside. It's now two and two to Nakamura. Defensively tonight for the Golden Eagles from left to right field, it's Okajima in left, Tatsumi in center, and Ogo in right. Around the horn from first to third, Suzuki at first, the second baseman Kobakata, Mori Biashi at short, and Asamura at third. The battery of Fuji and Oda. Fastball swung on and fouled straight back, and that's going to keep the count at two and two. So two balls and two strikes to Shogo Nakamura. I have to say, Nakamura has really struggled over the last couple of years. His production has declined significantly. I remember watching him play, he had some real professional at-bats, solid. But he's only 31 years old, and the decline has been dramatic. There's a fastball swung on, almost takes the head of the pitcher off into center field. That's going to get a run in. Here comes the throw to the plate. Stopping at third is going to be Yamaguchi. But Nakamura has got himself a single and an RBI. That's going to drive in yet another run, and it's increased the lead to 4 nothing here in the first inning. Yamaguchi stopped at third, and that'll bring up Seichiro Oshida. And you'd have to think there's got to be the bells and whistles will be going off in the bullpen. They got a beautiful crowd in Tohoku to come out and they lay an absolute egg right now here in the first inning, finding themselves down 4 to nothing. Gives Roki Sasaki a lot of room to be able to work with here tonight. So that's going to bring to the plate, say, Ichiro Oshida. It's only his second at bat of the season. He got the nod at first base tonight. 0 for 1 on the year. Here comes the first pitch. Left-hander against the right-hander. Pitch on the way. It is a breaking ball. Drops in for a called strike. The count is 0-1. Curious to see what the Tohoku pitching will be like this year as a collective whole. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. Fastball misses down and in, and the count goes to 1-1. One and one. They do have a few arms that we certainly like and even respect. They had the addition of Cody Ponce this year, the 
former big leaguer who came over from Hokkaido. Fastball misses outside, and the count now goes to two and one on Oshida. But they're going to need some real efforts from the likes of Uchi and Kayakawa. But right now, they don't really have that dominant arm. There's a fastball swung on. This ball is lined into left field. This is going to be trouble. It's down and into the corner. That's going to get a run in and maybe even get two. Rounding third and then throwing on the brakes is the runner Nakamura. Yamaguchi scores. That's going to be the fifth run of the inning. Nakamura stops at third. It's a double for Oshida. He knocks in another run. And the hit parade continues as that's eight batters to the plate here in the first inning for the Marines with only one gone, and it still looks like they want more. Runners at second and third, and it's going to be Ryusi Ogawa, the second baseman, coming to the plate. 39 pitches here for the lefty in the first inning for Fuji. So all the excitement to watch Roki Suzaki pitch. He's been given a 5 to nothing lead here. It's going to make it very, very difficult for the Golden Eagles. Eagles have got the infield in. The runner at second, Oshida, has got an absolutely massive lead. Runner at third right now is Nakamura. Here comes the first offering to the left-handed hitting Ogawa. And Fuji delivers. Fastball swung on, and this ball is... Lifted foul into the netting over on the third base side. Count is quickly 0-1. So no balls and one strike. Lefty Fuji got himself a new baseball, and he's ready to go again, wasting little time. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Now the count goes to 0-2. Waiting on deck is Atsuki Tomosuji, who got this party going with a single to lead off the ball game. Five nothing Marines here, top of the first inning. Still a lot of baseball left. They're going to have to do a lot of work to chip away. Are the Golden Eagles fastball taken at the knees for a called third strike? Oh, Gawa stood there like the house by the side of the road. He watched it go by for out number two, and that is going to leave it up to the shortstop Atsuki Tomosuji. Kept thinking last night's ball game when we were watching it with the Hawks and the Lions, the two grand slams in the game by Hotaka Yamakawa. Kept thinking about the two grand slams in one inning by Fernando Tatis Sr. It was the first pitch. It's a breaking ball taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1 to Tomosuji. No balls and one strike. I have to take a look at the Eagles' bullpen situation to see where they're at because... Fuji's at 42 pitches already. I would think the hook's got to be coming quick. Fastball swung on and fouled away, and the count goes to 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. I'll try to keep you updated through the night on the other scores, as we mentioned, with the one other game underway in the Pacific League, and another one about to get going with the Dragons and the Tigers. Here's the 0-2. Breaking ball swung on. This ball is lined right to the glove of the shortstop, Murray Biashi. Oh, that was destined for left field. A nice catch by the shortstop, and that is going to do it here in the first inning for the Chibalote Marines. While they rough up the starter, Fuji, they had five runs in the inning on the benefit of five hits. There were no errors, and there was two runners left aboard. We are through a half inning. Your score is the Chibalote Marines 5, the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles. No score. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a bit with all the action. Appreciate you guys for jumping in with us tonight, whether you listen live or on delay. You're listening to the Last Rouse Baseball YouTube channel. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. We're moving to the bottom of the first inning, and it is a 5 0 lead for the Marines. Roki Suzaki getting onto the mound to face Yuya Ogo, Itsuki Murray Biashi, and Hideto Asamura here in the bottom of the first. And the first pitch on the way from Suzuki is a fastball that misses down and away for ball one. One and oh. We've got our friend Connor in the house, and we appreciate you for being here tonight. We're doing pretty good, better than last night. We were battling a splitting headache through the game. 1-0 on the way. Fastball swung on and lifted foul into the netting behind home plate, and the count goes to 1-1. One and one. Certainly it was a bit of a drag and just progressively got worse through the night. But we couldn't tap out, and then we got a chance to see that second grand slam by Yamakawa. That was pretty impressive. There's a split figure pitch swung on. It's grounded over to first, fielded by the first baseman, Oshida, who is able to get it and step on the bag. And that is going to retire Ogo on a ground out to three for the first out of the inning. Connor says, got to get some caffeine. That always helps his headache. And sometimes you're not necessarily wrong, Connor. I haven't been drinking as much coffee lately. I only, I'm good for a cup a day, but I usually drink tea. Sometimes that might be a spot as well when you're taking out the caffeine out of your daily routine. Sometimes you have some caffeine withdrawals. Here comes the pitch. Fastball delivered and just misses outside at Suki Murray Biashi. Ball one to him. Murray Biashi hitting 255 on the year with a homer and five RBIs. <laughs> Dinger says he likes his coffee the same way he likes his women. There's a breaking ball swung on and tap foul over on the third base side. The count goes to one and one. There used to be a saying, I forget who it was. It was somebody said, I like my coffee the way I, way I like my women. It was hot, dark, and sweet. No balls and two strikes. I think that came from Saturday Night Live or something along those lines years ago. Fastball all the way to the backstop. It's going to run the ball, count to one ball and two strikes here to Murray Biashi. Biashi batting from the right side here against the right-hander Suzuki. It's going to be a tough night at the office for the Eagles when you spot Suzuki a five-run lead in the first. Split finger pitch, waved out and missed. And that is going to put Murray Biashi in the books for out number two, and that's going to leave it up to the third baseman, Hideto Asamura. But I think the biggest thing is, is with regards to headaches, and I don't get a lot. Living on the living in the Midwest, used to get a lot, a lot of headaches because of the heat, the humidity, not always keeping hydrated. And when you don't have enough hydration, that's usually when the headaches will kick in. There's a fastball that misses inside. One ball and no strengths to Asamura. Asamura hitting a buck 67, no homers and three RBIs on the early season for the 33 year old. Fastball misses outside. It's now 2 0. Defensively tonight for the Marines, we'll get you that rundown here quickly. Polanco in left, Oka in center, and Yamaguchi in right. Around the horn, it's Oshida at first. The second baseman's Ogawa with the shortstop, Tomo. Suji and the third baseman is Nakamura with the battery of Suzuki and Sato as that fastball was taken for a call strike. It now goes to two and one on Asamura. Right-hander kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted in deep left field. This ball could be trouble. Going back is Polanco. He's looking up and it is gone. A home run for Asamura. And they're able to cut one back into this lead. A solo shot to left, and Asamura rounds the bases here with his first home run of 2024. And it is now a 5-1 to one Marine lead. So the fireworks have started early this afternoon in Tohoku. I'd like to see that pitch again on the replay if that was a splitter that hung up in the zone. I'm not sure. Or if it was just a good old-fashioned fastball. But Asamura deposits it into the seats. 5-1 is now the scoreline. That brings Hiroki Shimochi to the plate. The first pitch to him is a split-finger pitch taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1. Shimochi off to a sluggish start as well, batting 176 with no homers and an RBI. As the right-hander Sasaki kicks and delivers, there's another split finger pitch swung on and missed, and the count now goes to 0 2. 
Schmochi, 34 years old this season. His best years may be in the rearview mirror at this point. Here comes the 0-2. There's a splitty down, and the home plate umpire says that he's gone. There's going to be a strikeout, and it's going to be recorded two to three on the putout. And that is going to do it here for out number three in the first inning. But the Golden Eagles get one back on the solo shot by Asamura. One run, one hit, no errors, nobody left the board. Your score as we are one complete in Tohoku. It is the Marines five and the Eagles one. Stick around. Let's see if the pitcher Fuji is coming back out or if we're going to the bullpen for another change. Welcome back, everybody. It looks like it was just a straight-up four-seam fastball that Suzaki had delivered to Asamura as he deposited that one in the seats. I wondered if it was a splitty that hung up, but we got a chance to look at the replay in the after the inning here, the inning changes. It was just a good old-fashioned heater he timed up and deposited in. I think it was about a 97-mile-an-hour fastball. It looked like it registered in at about 155. And here comes the... First pitch delivered to Oka. It is a fastball swung on, and it is grounded into center field for a base hit. And Oka is aboard here in the second inning. It is Fuji still on the mound, so he the hit parade just continues here. It's almost like they know it's coming. So base hit here for Oka as he leads it off, and that'll bring up Gregory Polanco to the plate. Polanco tonight does not have an official at bat. He walked and scored a run his first time up. Batting from the left side here against the lefty Fuji, who's back in for another inning. He misses a fastball inside, and the count now is 1-0 to Polanco. 45 pitches in the first inning for the lefty. I'd be on high alert right now. If he can get them a couple more innings, it would be amazing. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on, and it's grounded foul. Polanco goes down in a heap. I don't know if he fouled it off himself or not, but he is in absolute agony. We're going to have to see where he took that one here, and we're going to get the trainers coming out. It looks like he may have fouled it off his just above his ankle on his shin. I have to take a look at that one again on the replay, but that was absolutely strange and bizarre. He went down like he was shot. Oh yeah, absolutely. It looked like he got it right on the inside part of his foot. Kind of where the shin, the ankle, everything all come to meet. That is definitely going to hurt. If you've ever found a ball off your foot at any type of velocity, and that can put you in a lot of pain. That's one ball and one strike to Polanco as now he is ready to get back in the batter's box. I would assume he's probably not going to be racing the first pace with any type of oomph this time. If he can put the ball in play, here's the 1-1. One, one. Fastball swung on a miss. There goes the runner, Oka, down to second, and he's not throws not going to be in time. That's going to be a stolen base for Oka, so he gets himself into scoring position. Polanco on the swing and miss now runs the count to one and two. So one ball and two strikes to Polanco. Oka now at second. 
That's his fourth stolen base of the 2024 campaign. And there is a breaking ball, waved out and missed. And Polanco goes in the books. He's gone for the first out of the inning. And our friend baseball lover, 1984, in the house tonight. We appreciate you for being here. Plainsfield, New Jersey, checking in. We appreciate you for being here. I'm not really sure where, or sorry, Plainfield, I should say. I'm not sure where Plainfield is. I had a buddy of mine who lived in Union years ago. I'm not sure if he's still there or not. I haven't talked to him in a while. Here comes the pitch. Fastball misses upstairs, and the count is 1-0. and So one ball and no strikes to Neftali Soto. Soto tonight 0-1. for 1. He struck out his first time up. As the lefty works himself to the set, here comes the 1-0. Pitch on the way. Fastball swung on balls, looped over the head of the shortstop into left field. The runner, Oka, had to hold up. He wasn't sure if that ball was going to get down, but Neftali Soto is going to have himself a single. That's going to put runners at the corners with one gone. That'll bring up the catcher, Toshia Sato. Fred Baseball Lover 84 says that it's not that far from Union. Uh, Union's just the other side of the tunnel, I think, from New York City. A buddy of mine who worked in the city drove bus in New York City. I certainly wouldn't want to be doing a lot of driving in New York. That's got to be one of the tougher pieces, places to drive. So Tashia Sato at the plate, he walked and drove in a run his first time up. He walked with the bases loaded as that fastball misses down, and the count is 1-0. and He also came around and scored a run for the Marines. Marines are out to a 5-1 to lead. They're jumped out to a 5 nothing lead in the top of the first. Eagles got one back in the bottom, and they're threatening to add more to the board here with runners on the corners and one gone. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Fastball swung on, grounded over to second. They go to second for one. Back to first, it's going to be an inning-ending double play, and boy, did the Eagles need that. So that's going to go in the books as a 4-6-3 double play. That's going to retire Soto at second for the second out, and the third out over at first was Sato. Well, they threaten, but they don't score. There was no runs in the inning. There were two hits. There was no errors, and there was one runner left aboard. Your score as we move to the bottom of the second, it is the Chiba Lote Marines 5 and the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles 1. We'll be back in just a moment. Appreciate you guys for being here, and we'll be right back in just a bit after this. Hello, this is Eric Fox, formerly of the Oakland A's and Texas Rangers baseball teams. If you want to learn about Japanese baseball, see Coach Fred, Last Raps Baseball. If you want to baseball instruction, see Coach Fred. If you want to learn about golf, do not go to Coach Fred. Fred, what kind of club is this? At Last Raps Baseball, we know baseball. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the five, six, and seven hitters to come to bat in the second inning for the Golden Eagles, Okajima, Suzuki, and Tatsumi. We face Suzuki here, and the first pitch is a breaking ball that misses outside. The count is 1-0. and oh. Okajima on the season batting 318, no homers and a couple RBIs. The 34-year-old coming off a decent campaign in 2023. Takes a fastball on the inside corner for a called strike. The count goes even to one and one. That last pitch poured in at 95 miles an hour on the radar gun. Fred Baseball Lover said there are two unions, or Union City, and then there's Union Township. Here's the pitch. It's a fastball swung on and lifted foul. Count is now one and two. It's kind of similar to 
where I live, there's a district and then there's a, a city of the same name. So one ball and two strikes as the right-hander kicks and fires. Split finger pitch, swung on and fouled away right at the feet of the catcher. Keeps the count at one ball and two strikes. So one ball and two strikes to Takara Okajima. Suzuki and Tatsumi to follow here in the bottom of the second inning. And the right-hander kicks and delivers. It is another split-finger pitch that misses down and away, and the count goes to two and two. My thoughts on this with Suzuki on the mound, I have a few concerns for him. And my one concern for him is there's obviously talk about him going to Major League Baseball. He's got a devastating fastball and a great split-finger to go with it. There's a fastball swung on, grounded over to third, and it goes right through Nakamura, in the left field. I'm going to have to wait to see how they rule that, but I've got to say that's got to be an E5. And regardless, Okajima is going to be safe at first. We'll see what the official score says. We'll get a look on the replay. He didn't stay down on the ball. It's usually the case. You got to really make sure that you're you work from the ground up as you're fielding the baseball. It was a ground ball to that side, and he never really got down on it and went right through him. He was trying to backhand it. Oh, uh, Nakamura, the veteran, you got to be better than that. So here comes the offering now from the right-hander. As Suzaki kicks and delivers, it's a breaking ball that misses outside, and the count is 1-0. and So one ball and no strikes. Suzuki batting from the left side against the right-hander Suzaki here. As the pitch is on the way, it's a fastball swung on this ball. is grounded to second, taken on a hop. They go to second for one, back to first. And that's going to be a double play. That's going to go in the books as a 4-6-3 variety. Oh, Suzuki hit the ball hard, but right to the glove of the second baseman, Ogawa, who was able to turn the two on that one. And that'll be two outs here, and that's going to bring up the center fielder, Ryosuke Tatsumi. And it is just confirmation. The official score did say that it was going to be an error on the third baseman. So E5 charge to Nakamura. But that won't come back to haunt them now. There's a first pitch fastball delivered to Tatsumi, taken for a call strike. The count is 0 1. So no balls and one strike. As the right hander kicks and delivers, it's a split finger pitch taken for a called strike. The count now goes to 0 and 2. So, no balls and two strikes, it is. Sazaki so works himself to the set. Here he kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on slash down the third base line. Nakamura fields this one. He throws across the diamond, and they're going to get it. Oh, so he starts the inning with a, a butchered ball at third, and he comes up with a fantastic play to end the inning. Round out five to three in your books if you're scoring at home. If you get to Instagram later tonight, that's something you want to take a look at. No runs in the inning, no hits, an error. Nobody left the board. We're through two complete now. Your score is the Chibalote Marines five and the Tohoku Rocket and Golden Eagles one. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with all the action after this from our friend Steve Rodemacher. Hang tight. This is Steve Rodemacher. And I'd like to introduce you to my channel if you haven't seen it before. These are all the things I enjoy. Sports, autographs, relics, non-sports, Hall of Famers, pseudo-sports, Star Wars. That's my channel name and my name. And I would really appreciate it if you would come check me out and maybe even subscribe if you like it. Thank you for that for now. And back to your ball game.
Welcome back, everybody. We've got ourselves a 5-1 game here as we go to the top of the third inning. Certainly in this situation, we didn't expect that uh, Fuji would even be around with us here this far, but he is now in the third inning as he was finally able to escape that first inning. So Fuji ready to go again here. 56 pitches after throwing 42 in that first inning. You ready to take back over here for the next half as they are coming to bat here. So the left-hander ready to go as he kicks and delivers. The first offering to Koki Yamaguchi is a breaking ball that misses up and away for ball one. So one ball and no strikes. It is Eagles and Marines Japanese baseball on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. And there's a fastball swung on this ball. It's going to be driven over the head of the center fielder, Tatsumi. It's going to get all the way to the wall, rounding first and cruising into second. It is Yamaguchi with a leadoff double. That's the second double he's had tonight. The first one was down the left field line. And it was off the glove of the first base or the third baseman, Asamura. So two doubles tonight for Yamaguchi. That's going to bring up the third baseman, Shogo Nakamura. And for Nakamura on the evening, he is one for one. He's got himself a run driven in as well. We'll try to do a little better job of posting up our schedule this week. So hopefully everybody can check in. We'll be back on the airwaves again next weekend. Breaking ball. Taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1 to Nakamura. Most likely the Saturday and Sunday games. May try to squeeze a midweek affair in. I'm going to try to do that, maybe even a couple, but it won't be the Tuesday game as we're going to be down watching the Mariners and the Reds. Here comes the 0-1 pitch. As a fastball swung on this ball is lifted down the right field line. It's going to drift foul into the seats, and the count now is 0-2 on Nakamura. So no balls and two strikes as the lefty Fuji delivers a fastball that's down in the dirt. Good stop there by the catcher Oda. So it's one and two now to Nakamura. Actually, it was 54 pitches through two innings for the left-hander. So 45 in the first and only nine pitches in the second inning. Is that always the way? Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on, grounded over to second, fielded neatly by Kobakata. He throws to first, but that's going to advance Yamaguchi over to third. Goes in the books as a ground out four to three. Nakamura gone for the first out of the inning, and that's going to bring up the first baseman, Seichiro Oshida. Oshida got in on the hit parade back in the first inning. He had a double and an RBI, but he was left stranded at second base to end the inning. He bats here with the runner at third and one gone. The infield is in right now for the Golden Eagles. And here comes the first offering. It is a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1 to Oshida. So no balls and one strike. Lefty Fuji ready to go again as he works himself to the belt. And he pitches on the way. It is a fastball that just misses a little bit low, and the count goes even to one and one. So one ball and one strike. Other scoring from around the league, the Lions are trailing the Hawks one nothing. That's in the bottom of the third. Fastball swung on. It's going to be lifted foul into the seats over at first base. Count now goes to one and two. So one ball and two strikes. 
Lefty Fuji ready to go again. Here comes the offering as the pitch is on the way. Fastball just misses low at the knees, and the count now goes to two and two. So two balls and two strikes. Lefty Fuji again, ready to go again here. Here's the 2-2 offering. As he kicks and he fires, it's a fastball swung on, grounded over to third. Stopped by Asamuri, throws across the diamond, retreating back to the base was Yamaguchi. So not necessarily a good piece of hitting there by Oshida as he yank pulled that ball. Right to the bag, at almost at third base. Ground out 5-3 is the scoring on that one, and that's going to bring up the second baseman, Ryusi Ogawa. Sometimes see this in games where a team will jump out and score a pile of runs in the first inning, and then the bats go into the freezer the rest of the way. They've had their opportunities, have the Marines, to really blow out the Golden Eagles here, and they just haven't been able to put the hammer all the way down. First pitch breaking ball swung on and tipped into the dirt. Count is quickly 0-1 to Ogawa. Ogawa tonight is 0-1. for 1. He struck out looking his first time up. Finds himself in the hole here, 0-1. and 1. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball down. The count now goes to 1-1. One and 1. So one ball and one strike. So one ball, one strike as the lefty works himself set. Kicks and fires. Fastball misses upstairs. And the count now goes to 2-1 and one on Ogawa. Looming on deck is the top of the order, Tomosuji. Here's the 2-1. Fastball swung on and missed. Now the count runs even to 2-2. Two and two. So two balls and two strikes it is. Lefty again delivers a fastball. This is going to be lined over the head of the shortstop. And Ogawa is going to get himself a base hit in RBI. That's going to bring home the sixth run of the game for the Marines. That'll bring up the top of the order in at Suki Tomosuji. Kind of makes you wonder, when are we going to see the end of Fuji here? Well, that brings Tomosuji to the plate. He is one for two tonight. He's got a single. He scored a run. He's also lined to the shortstop. And the first pitch fastball is taken at the knees for a called strike. The count is 0-1. Well, Suji with that single earlier tonight has raised his average up to 385 in the early going here. He's been the consummate table setter for the Marines. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball taken for a called strike, and the count now goes to 0-2 on Tomosuji. Top of the third inning, Marines have extended their lead to 6-1 to now over the Eagles. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fuji delivers. Fastball swung on and missed. He goes in the books for the third out of the inning. And that is going to do it here for the Marines. But they add another run to their scoreline. One run on two hits. No errors. And one runner left the board. We're now moving to the bottom of the third inning. Your score is the Chibalote Marines 6 and the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles 1. Stay tuned with us, everybody. We'll be back in just a few. We appreciate you guys for hanging with us tonight on the Last Drops Baseball YouTube channel. Be back for more after this.
Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the eight, nine, and one hitters to come to bat for the Golden Eagles. That means Hikaru Oda, Hiroto Kobakata, and the top of the order, Yuya Ogo. As the first pitch from Roki Sasaki is on the way, it's a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is 0 1. Oda on the season, batting 235, no homers and three runs batted in. It's the start behind the dish tonight for the Golden Eagles as the right hander kicks and fires. It is a Split finger pitch missing down in the dirt. And the count goes even at one and one. I started talking in the last inning or so ago about the right hander here when he pitches. And one of my concerns is, is that he doesn't have a real good curveball. And the problem is, is a change up. And he's going to need that in North America. And we got telekinesis for cats in the house he says parkville maryland checking in hope everyone's having a good day and evening and we appreciate you for being here thanks for stopping in we got a little bit of early action here tonight as the one two pitch is on the way it is a split finger missing down in the way and the count now goes to two and two i don't know what the early line on the over under was in this one but certainly we would have to be thinking that if you took the over in the first five you're probably grinning right now here comes the 2-2 split finger pitch swung on and his cued foul over on the first base side over toward the dugout going to keep the count at two balls and two strikes right hander against the right hander as Obukata works himself to the set here comes the pitch and it is a Split finger pitch taken for a called third strike. Oda stood there like the house by the side of the road. He watched it go by for the first out of the inning. So one up and one away here in the bottom of the third, and that brings up Hiroto Kobakata to the plate. I have to say that looked like it was a breaking ball coming out of the hand of Suzaki upon the replay. It looks uh, very similar sometimes to his split finger pitch when he leaves it up. Almost a 12-6 type variety. There's a first pitch fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1. Sometimes you don't always get the grip or you see it out of the hand. No balls and one strike. As the right-hander kicks and delivers, there's a fastball that misses outside, and the count runs even to 1-1. One and one. So one ball and one strike. Kobakata hitting 163 in the early going with no homers and three RBIs. Off to a bit of a slow start. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball drops in for a called strike, and the count now goes to one and two. Six runs, nine hits, one error for the Marines through their first three. One run, one hit, no errors for Tohoku so far in theirs. Now there's a the split finger pitch down in the dirt. Nice stop there. They appeal over to the third base umpire, goes up with his right hand. Let's check that one again. Or did he not? Because if that's the case, it would be strike three. But no, we've got uh, two balls and two strikes. So I thought he went up with the right hand on Kobakata. But no, it's going to be two balls and two strikes here. Upon replay, probably could have went up with the right hand. There's a fastball swung on it as tap foul. It does go into fair territory. Kobakata ended up fouling it off his foot here, it looks like. No, actually not. It was kind of weird. It was fouled off, and it came up and hit the knob of the bat. Looked like it almost hit him in the foot. Just missed the foot, but came up and got the knob of the bat. So two balls and two strikes here to the second baseman of the Golden Eagles. As the pitch is on the way, it's a fastball that misses down and away, and the count is three and two. So... Two of the six pitches in this bat have been rather bizarre. So 3-2 now to Kobakata as Sasaki ready to deliver. Here's the pitch. And he kicks and he fires. Fastball swung on this ball is line foul just past the third base umpire. Count remains at 3-2. and two. It's a very interesting dimension here in Tohoku, the way that the field is built and set up the way that the stands sort of jut out. And there's not a lot of real estate in foul territory once you get pretty much down about halfway down the third baseline or 
or the left field line. As a fastball that misses up and away, it's going to be ball four. Kobakata is going to be aboard with a one-out walk, and that's going to bring up the top of the order in Yuya Ogo. If you're the Marines, you definitely don't want to let the Eagles, or the Golden Eagles, linger around. They don't want to linger around here in this particular game. Because if they're lingering about, you're going to see we're going to have some problems here because once Suzuki gets chased, how are the Marines going to close this one out? So Ogo stepping to the plate. He's 0 for 1 tonight. He grounded out to the first baseman his first time up. He takes a fastball up and away for ball one. Ogo's average is at 291. No homers and four RBIs. Batting from the left side against the right-handed throwing Suzaki, who works himself set, now delivers. Fastball swung on and lifted into the seats foul, and the count is even at 1-1 one and one to Ogo. Another great start tonight in Major League Baseball by the Cubs starter Shota Imanaga. Imanaga was able to go five and a third innings of shutout ball. He needed some help to get out of the sixth inning. They had to get into the bullpen. It was Mark Leiter came in. Mark Leiter Jr. came in and absolutely pitched brilliantly for the Cubs to help Imanaga get out of the way there. As it's two balls and one strike here to Ogo. But Imanaga still has not given up an earned run in his three starts. He is a perfect 2-0. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses outside. It's now three and one to go. Yeah, Imanaga went five and a third, allowing five hits. He gave up a run, but it was not earned. He walked two and struck out four, so he just continues to mow along. He was 55 strikes on 90 pitches for the Cubs in that one tonight. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken for a called strike. The runner goes down to second. Throw is not going to be in time. Kobakata is going to steal second base. He's going to run the count full to Ogo. He's now in scoring position is Kobakata. He had a really good jump there on Suzaki. That gives him his fifth stolen base of the year. He has five for six in attempts this season. Kobakata almost automatic. And here's the pitch. It is a breaking ball that misses down, and it's going to be ball four. Ogo is going to get himself a walk. That's going to put runners at first and second. And now it's going to bring up Itsuki Murray Biashi to the plate. Back to the Cubs starter, Imanaga. He's worked 15 and a third innings this year. He's averaging just over five innings a start. One of the starts, he went four innings, and that was against the Dodgers, four shutout innings. And the rains that had cometh, and it was too long of a delay, and he wasn't able to come back out to resume pitching. But 15 and a third innings so far this year, he's only allowed one run, and it was unearned tonight. So very impressive first three games of a big league career. Also, it was Seiya Suzuki hitting a home run in that game, his third of the year. Here's the first offering to the right-handed hitting Murray Biashi. It's a breaking ball that misses inside. Count is 1-0. and oh. So if you think that a pitcher Fuji at times might have been squeezed in the first inning, the last couple of pitches here by Suzaki that were close you might say the same for the Marine pitcher. There's a breaking ball taken for a called strike. The count is 1-1. One and one. I think at times that maybe right now that when I've watched in this game here that Suzaki is a little too cute right now. Just go with your bread and butter, which is your 100 plus mile an hour heater. And the 1 1 on the way, it's a breaking ball misses inside, and the count is now 2 and 1. So two balls and one strike, especially early in the ball game. Locate your fastball, be able to move side to side, establish the strike zone. So two balls and one strike as the right hander works himself again, set, now delivers. Fastball swung on, and it's going to be chopped foul over on the first base side. That runs the count now even to 2-2 two and two on Murray Biashi. 
once you get the command and the control of your fastball, then you can start to mix in your other pitches. Sometimes I wonder if sometimes the pitchers get a little bit, they think outthink themselves rather than going with their bread and butter. So here comes the two and two pitch or the two two count. The offering on the way, it's a fastball swung on and missed. There you go. You blow the 98 mile an hour fastball by Murray Biashi. He was overmatched on that one. He's gone for the second out of the inning. That's strikeout number four in our books for Suzaki, and that's going to bring up the third baseman, Hideto Asamura. And for Asamura, he has been the only one to account for a run here this evening as he hit that shot into left field for the only run of the ball game, 6-1. The, the Golden Eagles trail the Marines at this point. He's got a chance here to do some more damage. Got a couple of ducks on the pond. Runner at second, Kobakata. Runner at first is Ogo, and he takes a breaking ball inside for a ball. The count is 1-0. Oh. Asmer getting the start at third base here tonight. Yet again, we I wonder if that's a permanent change. Copacata is going to work at second, and Marie Biashi. There's a fastball taken right down the middle for a called strike, and the count is 1-1. One one. It is often said that Hitters don't hit home runs. Pitchers throw them. They just supply the power, and the hitters have to get themselves on time to be able to turn it around. And that's what you may be able to be said of that home run in the first inning by Asamura. There's a split-finger pitch swung on. It's grounded softly to short. Fielded neatly by Tomosuji. He flips it over to the second baseman, Ogawa, covering. That's going to go down as a fielder's choice. It's going to erase Ogo 6-4, to four, and that's going to do it here in the third inning. The Eagles threaten a little bit as they had a couple of runners on, but they're unable to cash in. And your score here as we are now through three complete, it is the Marines 6 and the Golden Eagles 1. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors, and one runner left the board. We'll be back here in just a few as we have a 6-1 lead, the first third of the ball game in the books. Great back, everybody. Appreciate you guys for bouncing in here with us tonight, listening on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. Welcome back, everybody. We are moving to the top of the fourth inning and coming to bat here for the Marines in their half of the inning. It is going to be Oka, Polanco, and Soto, the two, three, and four hitters in the batting order. And the first pitch delivered as a fastball swung on and fouled away. And the count is quickly 0-1. The starter, Fuji, still hanging in here as he is back out for inning number four. He'd thrown 73 pitches through the first three, but it was that 45-pitch first inning that popped as he allowed five runs to the Marines. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Breaking ball down. They appeal over to the first base umpire, but they say that Oka didn't go. Count goes even to 1-1. One and one. So one ball and one strike. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on, grounded over to third. Asamura fields it. He throws to first. 
And that's going to retire Oka on a ground out 5-3 to three for the first out of the inning. One up and one away here in the fourth, and that'll bring up Gregory Polanco. Well, Polanco tonight is officially 0 for 1. He has walked and scored a run. Polanco digs himself in, and he's ready to get the first offering here from Fuji. He did foul the ball off his foot his last time up, and he swings and misses at a breaking ball, and the count is quickly 0-1. So no balls and one strike it is. We've got our friend CV Baseball Card Collector in the house tonight. Appreciate you for stopping in, CV. Here comes the 0-1 pitch from Fuji. As he kicks and delivers, it is a breaking ball missing down, and the count goes even to 1-1. One one. I don't know if CV's got a chance to get to any games that yeah, Siri gets to. I think the Vesalia Rawhide gets to see those guys play. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a breaking ball down. The pitch is down and away. No, Polanco didn't go, and the count's now 2-1. and one. Used to be a young fella who was from my area who played for the Rawhide. He was a Diamondback draft pick. As the 2-1 pitch is on the way, there's a fastball swung on and missed. Count now goes to 2-2. Two and two. So two balls and two strikes. Was an outfielder from Wayne State University named Ryan LaPonce. Didn't really know him, just remember he came from the area locally. There's a fastball that misses down, and the count runs to three and two. So three balls and two strikes to Polanco. As the lefty Fuji works himself to the set position, and now Polanco has asked for time as feels that the lefty is working a little too quickly for his liking. So here comes the 3-2 pitch as the lefty now kicks and delivers. It is a breaking ball swung on and fouled away. Count remains at 3-2. and two. Polanco is an imposing figure at the plate. He's a big man. They list him at about six foot five, And so by Japanese standards, he is an absolute giant. There is a fastball swung on it. It's grounded. Deep to the right side of the infield, fielded by the second co baseman, Kobakata, who is in shallow right field. Makes the play, throws the first. That's going to be a ground out four to three. Looked like they had a shift on for him. We don't see the shift as much in Major League Baseball anymore as they have some of those rules. But they definitely had three fielders to the right side of the infield. The third baseman was playing the shortstop position, but Kobakata positioned right where he needed to be. Takes away a hit from Polanco. There's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count is a 1-0. and My friend CV, as we said, in the house, and we appreciate you for being here. Hope you've been doing good. Here's the 1-0 offering to Soto, and it's a fastball swung on. This ball is driven into deep right field, moving back and making the catch up against the wall as the right fielder, Ogo, and that is going to take extra bases away from Soto. He has gone for the third out of the inning, and that will do it here. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. We are now going to the bottom of the fourth inning. Your score is the Chibalote Marines 6, Toku Rakuten Golden Eagles 1. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Appreciate you guys for being with us. It is 6-1 to one as we move to bottom four. Hello? Oh, hey. Yep, yep. I'm just sitting here listening to Freddie call another game here on YouTube. Oh, yeah, going really good. He's calling a great game. Uh, really exciting. Lots of stuff going on. You're lucky it's commercial break right now. I got a second. Oh, yeah, of course I'm having a cold one. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of videos coming up this week. You should stop in. Check them out. Leave, leave a like, you know, tell other people. But, oh, Freddy's coming back. i got to go catch the game. I will check check in with you later. You have a good night, buddy. Bye.
Welcome back, everybody. We're a little slow getting back out of the break. The first pitch delivered to Hiroki Shimauchi was a fastball swung on and grounded to short. Fielded neatly by Tomosuji, and he throws to first, and Shimauchi is gone on a ground out 6-3 to three for out number one. One up and one away here in the fourth inning, and that's going to bring up the left fielder, Takiro Okajima. CV said about uh, Shohei's betting story. To be honest with you, I haven't really paid a whole lot of attention, and, you know, it's one of those things that I guess it's in the news and, you know, it kind of gets buried with a lot of other stuff. There's a fastball that misses into Okajima. I just can't watch some of that stuff all the time. Is he guilty or is he not guilty? Was he involved? Is he not involved? I don't know. Fastball misses up and away. It's now 2-0. So I'm sure they're going to try to sweep it underneath the carpet as much as they possibly can. Is it a Michael Jordan type of story? Maybe. Maybe Jordan. Maybe, maybe Otane shows up and plays basketball next year. Takes a year off. There's a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into shallow center field. Camping out underneath it is Oda Oka. He makes the catch, and that is going to retire Okajima. That's going to be two in the books here. So two quick outs for the Golden Eagles here in the fourth inning, and that'll bring up the first baseman, Daichi Suzuki. Only once tonight for the Golden Eagles have they gone up three up, three down, but it was an unconventional three up, three down. That was in the second inning. After Okajima had reached on an error, there was a double play, and Tatsumi had then grounded out. So Daichi Suzuki at the plate. He hit the ball hard his first time up right to the second baseman. Grounded into a double play. He takes a fastball outside for ball, and the count is 1-0. and CV said, is, did you hear he was buying baseball cards on eBay and whatnot, about four hundred grand? That's pretty crazy. There's a breaking ball that misses outside, and the count now goes to 2-0. and Yeah, I haven't heard a lot of that stuff. I certainly didn't do any sales to him or for him. So two balls and no strikes. Fastball swung on, grounded over to second, fielded neatly by the second baseman, Ogawa. He throws to first, and the Eagles are going to go quietly in their half of the fourth inning. They had no runs in the inning, no hits, no errors, and nobody left the board. We're now through four complete. Their score is the Marines six and the Golden Eagles one. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. CV is going to entertain us with some more stories about what is going on in the life of Shohei Otane and his betting and baseball card buying scandals. Hang tight, everybody. We'll be right back after this. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining Freddie here on his baseball game. And I'm Steve Rademacher, and my channel is really all about everybody, including all my international friends. We have such stuff as non-sport packs from Canada, the OP Cheese. We have the Greek Freak. We have money from around the world. We have Lyra. We have Yen. We have francs, we have pounds, we have Deutschmarks, we have all kinds of cool stuff like that. We even have some cooler things like Japanese women wrestlers and OPG baseball cards where I cannot read the back. We even have unopened material like the royal family, I know it's backwards, from London, England. Thank you for watching. Back to Freddie. Appreciate you there, Steve, and the support you give to our channel. In turn, we support Steve Rademacher. And after the game, be sure to go check out him and his channel. It is going to be Toshia Sato, Koki Yamaguchi, and Shogo Nakamura, the five, six, and seven hitters to come to bat here in inning number five. Our friend CV says, it appears Shohei is clean. Feds have arrested Mizuhara, and he pled or is working on a plea deal. Shohei is focused on baseball. We do have a pitching change here as the Eagles have finally gone to their bullpen as Fuji's day is done. This is going to be a right-hander. It's going to be number 45, and that would be Tomotaka Matsui. 
So he is coming on in relief. So Matsui in on relief or in on relief here. Taking over for the lefty Fuji. He's going to be set to face Toshia Sato, Koki Yamaguchi, and Shogo Nakamura here in the top of the fifth inning. So five runs in the first, and then Fuji was only allowed one more the rest of the way. So he was able to steady the ship after inning number one. Sato coming to bat here. He is officially 0 for 1 today. He grounded into a double play his last time up. He's walked and driven in a run. As he walked with the bases loaded, and the first pitch is a 93-mile-an-hour fastball that misses outside for a ball, and the count is 1-0. and So one ball and no strikes. Here's the pitch. It is a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count is 1-1. One and one. CB says, sadly, his image is taking a beating. Poor Shohei. Yeah, absolutely. That's always a bit of a problem. Here comes the 1-1 pitch when your name gets dragged through the mud. Fastball misses outside. The count now goes to 2-1. and one. Or Check that. Count goes to 1-2. and two. So one ball and two strikes on Sato. Right-hander again kicks and delivers. Fastball that misses down. The count runs even to 2-2. Two and two. I think about different players over time and different people and how the image gets tarnished. I also wonder, too, if... Sometimes people get set up. And you'd think, though, with how close Shohei would have been with his interpreter, that's kind of like your right-hand man. As the 2-2 is on the way, fastball swung on it is lifted foul, drifting over by the seats is Asamura, looking up, and he's going to have room, and he's going to make the catch. He's going to put away Sato. That ball was able to stay in the yard. Sato gone for the first out of the inning. That's going to bring up the right fielder, Koki Yamaguchi. For Yamaguchi, he's having himself an evening. He's two for two tonight. He's doubled twice. He's scored two runs, and he's knocked in a pair. So twos are wild right now for Koki Yamaguchi. As the right-hander Matsui kicks, and he delivers, it's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count is 1-0. and oh. As I mentioned, I'm going to try to get down to see the Reds and the Mariners Monday in Seattle, fastball that just misses, and the count now goes to 2-0. and When I was looking ahead at the projected starters, they hadn't had anything posted, and I was thinking, assuming based on what I had witnessed, it would be Logan Gilbert going head-to-head -head against Hunter Green. There's a fastball taken for a called strike, and the count now goes to 2-1. and one. That's just reaching up and having a look to see who the pitchers would be of where they would be at. They still haven't announced the Monday starters. I think that's who they would project to be. Here's the 2-1. Fastball taken for a called strike. Count now goes to 2-2. Two and two. So two balls and two strikes it is. Nick Lodolo today for the Reds. Ten strikeouts in five and a third innings. He was absolutely brilliant. As the Reds are playing... Baseball north of 500. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to 3-2 and two on Yamaguchi. Kind of wonder if Logan Gilbert's going to get the big contract from the Mariners. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Fastball swung on, grounded through the four hole in the right field. It's going to be a one-out single for Yamaguchi. He's aboard for the third time tonight. He entered the ballgame with a 196 batting average. That is certainly going to change here in the early goings. So three for three now for the Chiba ranked fielder. That's going to bring up the third baseman in Shogo Nakamura. We talked earlier about the Cubs Japanese players and how they were doing. Well, you've got other players around the other Japanese players around the Major League Baseball. We'll check in on Masataki Yoshida, who had a nice ball game today. There's a breaking ball that misses down. It squirts away from the catcher, and the batter Nakamura was signaling Yamaguchi to take off the second, but he stays at first. It's going to be one ball and no strikes. 
Red Sox beat the Angels today 7-2. Yoshida was two for four with a couple of RBIs. That has given him on the year now six runs batted in. Red Sox are slightly above 500, eight and seven, third in the American League East. Angels are also surprising this year. They're playing 500 ball. They're second in the West. It is in the early going as they've only played 14 games. There's a first pitch or there's a fastball taken for a called strike. It's now one and one to Nakamura. So one ball and one strike. Friend CB says the Angels assigned him to signed him Mizahara. No background check. That's unfortunate. There's a fastball swung on. It is pop foul over on the first base side. It's going to reach the seats. It's now one and two. Our friend Telekinis for Cats says Otani signs with the LA Clippers. <laughs> that or maybe his, maybe his wife brokered the deal. So one ball and two strikes it is as Nakamura waits and the pitch is a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into right field and making the catch is the right fielder Ogo and retreating back to first is Yamaguchi. Nakamura hit the ball on the screws, but he's going to be gone for the second out of the inning. That's going to leave it all up to the first baseman, Seichiro Oshida. And for Oshida, he's one for two tonight. He's got a double and driven home a run. That was in his first at bat. On the season, he's now one for three. As he gets the start here at first base tonight. Stocky fella batting from the right side. And the pitch on the way is a breaking ball missing down in the way. And the count is one and oh. I look at a team like the Golden Eagles, and it, to me, they're a team in flux. The manager last year, at the end of the year, stepped aside. There's a fastball missing down and away, and the count's 2-0. and I don't know if anybody who ever gets fired in the NPB, it was kind of like the ceremonial, he is uh, stepping aside and walking away. Of course, they probably had the guns pointed at him in the in the meeting room saying, look, if you don't, don't uh, say you're stepping down, we're going to execute you. So here comes the 2-0 pitch. As the pitch is on the way, it's a fastball swung on, and it's pop foul behind home plate. Two balls and one strike. But I look at the team, and the core of the team in particular is getting a little bit on the long old side. Asamura's on definitely on the wrong side of 30, as is Shimochi and Okajima. So you look at that group, they have not really backfilled. Kobakata has had some decent moments. You know, Suzuki, they never really got Moji, or hasn't Moji hasn't been the regular that they have expected him to be. Fastball swung on, popped up. The shallow left field moving back on it is the shortstop, Murray Biashi. Coming in as the center fielder, Tatsumi. They run into each other. The shortstop makes the catch. And that is going to retire Oshida, but, oh, there's some communication issues here. That is going to be the third out of the inning. No runs in the inning. One hit by Yamaguchi. There was no errors and one runner left the board. Your score as we move to the bottom of the fifth inning, it is a six to one ball game for the Marines. We'll be back in just a few with the bottom of the fifth. Appreciate you guys for hanging in here with us tonight. We'll be right back after this.
Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the seven, eight, and nine hitters to come to bat. That'll be Tatsumi Oda and Kobakata here in inning number five. And the first pitch from Roki Sasaki is a split finger pitch that the home plate umpire said Tatsumi went around on. Count is 0 1. 60 pitches through the first four innings for the Chiba right hander. As he waits on the, as he gets ready to deliver, here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and fouled away, and the count now goes to 0-2. Tatsumi 0 for 2 tonight. He grounded to third his first time up. Oh, it looks like the UFC is going to be all over here as it looked like somebody had knocked somebody out. There's a fastball that misses outside. The count is 1-2. and two. Usually we get the late crowd that bounces in from the UFC after the matches are finished. But this one was an earlier start tonight, so usually it's around 11 o'clock Pacific. We start to see people poking their heads into the stream. As that fastball misses down, and the count is 2-2. Two and two. So two balls and two strikes to Tatsumi. Not a big follower of the UFC. Not that I don't think it's a great spectator sport. There's a fastball that misses upstairs. Count goes to 3-2. and two. The athletes that perform in the UFC are absolutely unbelievable athletes, very, very skilled in their sport. Just not something that I had really got into. Here's the 3-2. Fastball swung on, grounded softly over to second. Fielded by Ogawa, he throws the first. That is going to retire Tatsumi on the ground out 4-3. to three. He's in the books for out number one. And by my count over here, that would be now six in a row retired by Suzaki. That's going to bring up the catcher, Ikara Oda. Oda tonight is 0 for 1. He struck out looking his first time up. Just as a reminder, we'll take our, what we like to call our Japanese halftime break. There's a fastball swung on this ball. is lifted into right field. Oh, a bit of a Z route by the right fielder, Yamaguchi, but he's able to haul it in over the shoulder and break a little bit of a smile. But that was not textbook tracking of the ball that is for sure fastball left up in the zone oda went the other way with it just hung up enough for yamaguchi to be able to haul it in that's the second out that's going to bring up the second baseman hirota kobakata so as we mentioned we'll take our extended break here in just a couple moments when this inning is done as it is that japanese halftime as we like to call it as the pitch is delivered to Kobakata, it's a fastball that misses outside. Count is 1-0. and oh. So one ball and no strikes. Kobakata batting from the left side here against the right-handed throwing Suzaki, who kicks and fires. It's a fastball that just misses down. And we've got Mick 3Y official in the house. He says, I'm in California until Monday evening. Mick, great to have you with us. 2-0 here to Kobakata. There's a fastball that swung on. This is lifted down the left field line. It's drifting toward the seats. And Polanco is going to watch it sail in just over the netting. And the count now is 2-1. and one. Yeah, it's an uh, opportunity. I know our friend CV was in here earlier, and he said that he was obviously following the Angels and stuff. Going to try to get to a couple minor league games myself over the next couple of weeks. There's a breaking ball that drops in for a called strike. The count now goes to two and two on Kobagata. So two balls and two strikes. Got to try to check the minor league schedule to see when it's going to work. I can't believe that the tickets for a Vancouver Canadian game is more expensive than a Mariner game. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball misses outside. It's now 3-2. and two. I've been down the I-5 to see the Everett Aqua Sox play. They've got a, a bit of a unique yard. I think they played the Hillsboro Hops when I watched them a couple of years ago. Here's the 3-2. Breaking ball. Take it for a called third strike, and Kobakata is in the books for out number three. That's going to do it here in the fifth inning. No runs in the inning. No hits, no errors. Nobody left the board. We are now through five complete. Your score is the Marines 6, the Eagles 1. We're going to take our little halftime break here as well. We'll put the music on loop.
let you guys enjoy it just as much as we do. Your score after five complete, it is Chiba six, Tohoku one. We'll be back in just a bit.
Welcome back, everybody. We are about ready to resume the action here as it'll be the top of the sixth inning. It'll be Ogawa, Tomosuji, and Oka to come to bat here in inning number six. We call it our Japanese halftime as they do take an extended break between the fifth and the sixth innings. They come out and they clean the field a little bit and get ready to resume the action. 73 pitches through the five innings for the right-hander Roki Suzaki, as the opposition that he's facing, Fuji, was taken out after the fourth. It was Matsui who has come on in in relief. We'll be right back in just a couple of minutes. We'll give you some scores from around the league, but we appreciate you being with us here tonight. The Last Rafts Baseball YouTube channel will be back in 30 right after this. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We'll give you a scores from around the NPB as it is all games are underway now. Bottom of the third inning at the Tokyo Dome, the Carp have a 1-0 lead over the Giants. It is the top of the third inning, and the Swallows have a 1-0 lead over the Bay Stars. It is in the top of the fifth inning, and the Tigers and Dragons are locked at ones. And now over to the Pacific League. It is a 4-0 lead for the Hawks over the Lions. That game is in the top of the sixth inning. And in the bottom of the second inning, it is a 3-3 ball game between the Buffaloes and the Fighters. And of course, this one here is a 6-1 scoreline. Five-run uprising in the first inning by the Marines as they sent 10 hitters to the plate, spread the love around. They had also five hits in the inning. We got 10 on the ball game. Suzaki has kept the Eagles in check. He's only allowed one hit so far in this one. So it is a 6-1 scoreline as we have it here going to the top of the sixth inning. And Matsui is just completing his warm-up tosses and will be ready to resume the action in just a couple of moments. Just a couple other messages to you folks here that are listening in with us tonight. We are going to be doing some more games again next weekend. We may try to squeeze a couple of games in earlier in the week, possibly even a Thursday or a Friday affair. So you'll have to check our stuff from that. We are going to be looking at some action there's not really a lot of midweek games we'll try to get the midweek games in as well this year ones we're missing out on at this point that we have is we've got ourselves usually the games at two in the morning pacific or 5 a.m eastern but there's not a whole lot on the slate right now in terms of day games but when they do resume during the week we will make a calls on those ones probably leaning towards next weekend more games in the pacific but we'll have to wait and see there's a first pitch fastball that misses down count is one and oh to ryusi ogawa ogawa tonight is one for two he has struck out looking and singled and driven in a run as he swings and fouls that one off and the count is now one and one he's now one for seven on the season as the starting second baseman for the marines it's the 9-1-2 and two hitters to come to bat here for Chiba as he'll be followed by Tomosuki and Oka. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. It is a fastball that misses upstairs. The count now goes to 2-1. and one. As I said, we do keep our eyes open for the earlier starts or earlier games that will start during the week. And we may try to be able to give some other calls. There's a fastball swung on this ball. It's lifted down the left field line, coming hard. And it's just going to drop in. It was kind of funny to watch because the ball boy had got off his chair and ran into fair territory. As o the left fielder Okajima is running toward the wall to make the catch. So two and two now to Ogawa. And here comes the pitch as it is 2-2 on the way. Fastball swung on, grounded over to short. Fielded by Murray Biashi, throws to first, and that's going to retire Ogawa. It's going to go in the books as a ground out, 6-3 to three for out number one.
probably the earliest game that we will call will be on Monday, the 29th. There are some day games and we'll probably be looking at something like along the lines of the Marines and the Golden Eagles. The Zozo Marine Stadium or maybe even the Buffaloes and the Fighters. As the first pitch is a breaking ball taken for a called strike and the count is 0-1 to Atsuki Tomosuji. Tomosuji tonight, one for three. He's got a single. He scored a run in his three trips. As the pitch is on the way, it's a breaking ball swung on and tapped foul over on the third base side. The count now goes to 0-2. So rare Monday game on April 29th. We'll probably be taking one of the day games out there as well. As we mentioned, then you get into the month of May and you start to see some midweek day games. Breaking ball swung on, and this is going to be lifted foul into the netting on the first base side. Count remains at 0-2. So no balls and two strikes as the right-hander rocks into the windup, and he kicks and delivers a fastball that misses outside, and the count now is one ball and two strikes to Tomosuji. There is going to be some afternoon games on Friday, May the 3rd. I believe that gets us into the golden week or around the golden week time. There's a fastball swung on it. It's chopped over to second, fielded neatly by Kobakata. Throws to first, and Tomosuji's in the books on a ground out 4-3. to three. He's gone for the second out of the inning, and that's going to leave it up to the center fielder, Hiromi Oka. Even Monday... The sixth, there is also a ball game that will take place in the day. It'll be the Marines and the Lions. As we said, that there'll be a number of matinee games. And then you get into the middle of May. Breaking ball misses down. It is now one ball and no strikes. May 14th, May 15th, that's a Tuesday, Wednesday. Got some midweek afternoon affairs there as well. So we'll be looking forward to that, especially in North America, where we can watch those games. Even though they're late night our time, they're not as late as being in the middle of the morning. As that fastball misses up, it's now 2-0 to Oka. So two balls and no strikes as the right-hander kicks and delivers. Fastball misses upstairs. It's now 3-0. So Matsui here trying to finish off the Marines in his second inning work. He's fallen behind on the hitter Oka. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses inside, and he's walked them on four straight pitches. Two out walks. They can come back to haunt you, that's for sure. As Oka is aboard, and that is going to bring up the left fielder, Gregory Polanco. Well, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of uh, information as they say a must-see KO of the year. Max Holloway puts out Justin Gathji to sleep with a thunderous right hand. So it looks like the UFC fights are wrapping up here tonight. So Oka, the runner at first with two gone. Polanco at the plate. As the right-hander works to the set, here comes the offering from Matsui. He kicks and delivers. It is a fastball that misses up and away, and the count is 1-0. and oh. One ball and no strikes. So I guess if you're in the UFC, make sure you check in that knockout. By all the sounds of it, it is going to be an impressive one to see. Here's the 1-0. Breaking ball swung on and missed. The count now goes to 1-1. One and one. Polanco walked and scored a run in the first inning, struck out and grounded out his other two trips. The big fella here looking to keep the inning going. One ball and one strike. As the right-hander Matsui holds set, now delivers. Fastball swung on line, past the glove of the third baseman. Asamura into left field. Stopping at second is going to be Oka. That's going to put runners at first and second. That's going to bring up the designated hitter, Neftali Soto.
two out walks always come back to haunt you. The next thing you know is you've got yourself a big inning brewing here as the heart of the order coming up here for the Marines. Oka, the runner at second, Polanco at first with that single. And it looks like his night is done. He did foul a ball off his foot. We're going to have a pinch runner for him. Get you that here in just a moment. It's number 50. That would be Ido. Interesting. Ido with the Marines. We remember him with the Saitama Cebu Lions. So he is coming in to replace Polanco on the first pitch to Soto as a breaking ball swung on and missed. I have to say, I really enjoyed watching Ido play at times, especially the outfield positioning. So curious to see how he fits in in Chiba. No balls and one strength to Soto as he waits here on the delivery from Matsui. Pitch on the way. It is a fastball swung on and missed, and the count now goes to 1-1. One and one. Check that 0-2 on Soto. Some more scoring from around the NPB. The Giants, who were trailing 1-0 to the Carp, have now taken the lead 2-1. All the other games, the scores that we gave you earlier are still the same. So here comes the 0-2 pitch from Matsui. And the pitch is on the way. It's a breaking ball that misses down, and the count now goes to 1-2. and two. So one ball and two strikes. Right-hander Matsui gets his side from his catcher, Oda. He works to the set. He checks the runner at second, and here's the pitch. Fastball swung on and tap foul behind home plate. The count remains at one and two to Soto. Roki Zazaki, given that five-run head start in the first inning. That is a six-to-one ball game at this point. Just checking back in a little bit on Ido. Off to a slow start offensively for the Marines, batting 133 as he is running at first base for Polanco. Here's the 1-2 pitch. As on away, it's a breaking ball missing inside. The count now goes even to 2-2. Two and two. Ido, a career 219 hitter, probably his best year would have been in the 2022 season for the Lions when he hit 243. He has a little bit of pop. He had nine homers, has nine stolen bases that year. So he can run a little bit. But the big thing that we see, at least with Ido, is, is that his defensive play is pretty solid. There's a breaking ball swung on and grounded just over the head of the third base coach. He took a swat at the ball as it went over top. So two balls and two strikes to the right-handed hitting Neftali Soto. So Soto waggling the bat. As the right-hander works himself to the set, now delivers. Breaking ball, take it for a called third strike. Soto goes down on strikes looking. He's gone for out number three. The Marines, again, threaten, but they do not score. They had no runs in the inning. There was a hit, no errors, and two runners left aboard. Your score as we move to the bottom of the sixth inning it is the Marines' sixth and the Eagles' one. Hang with us, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with more action in just a few minutes. We appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. <laughs>
We got a 6 1 score line. We'll be back in just a few after this. Appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. We'll be right back after this. <music> Welcome back, everybody. Roki Sasaki has completed his warm-up tosses, and we're ready to resume the action as it'll be Ogo, Murray Biashi, and Asamura, the top of the order, to face him here in inning number six. Ogo, tonight, 0 for 1. He has grounded to first and walked. Takes a first-pitch fastball for a called strike. The count is 0 and 1. Ogo batting from the left side against the right-handed throwing Sasaki, who works himself to the set and delivers. Fastball misses down and away, and the count runs even to one and one. Ido is the new left fielder replacing Polanco. As we said, Polanco fouled that ball off the top of his foot. I'm sure that that probably impacted if he was going to stay in the game or not. Fastball that misses outside. The count now goes to two and one. Polanco had a productive night at the plate. One for three and a walk. Keeps his good start to the 2024 campaign alive. As the 2-1 is on the way, fastball that catches the outside corner and the count runs even to 2-2. Two and two. Only one hit tonight so far for the Golden Eagles, and that was off the bat of Hideto Asamura as it went into the left field seats. Sasaki is looking like a man among boys as there's a breaking ball taken for a called third strike. And that is going to lock up Ogo for the first out of the inning. One up and one away. That's going to bring up the shortstop at Suki Muribayashi. Six strikeouts in our books here for a right-hander so far. And here's the pitch. It has a fastball swung on this ball's line. Into right field. It's going to get down for a base hit. Murray Biashi does a nice job of staying inside the ball and going the other way. And he's going to be aboard with a one-out single here in the sixth inning. And that is going to bring up the third baseman, Hideto Asamura. Well, for Asamura, he is one for two tonight. He's bounced into a fielder's choice, and he accounted for the only run of the Golden Eagles as he hit that home run back in inning number one. With the hit tonight, he's raised his average to 180 on the year. Off to a lethargic start. There's a breaking ball taken for a call strike. The count is 0-1 to Asamura. We've noticed that over the last couple of years, with both Asamura and Shimauchi have gotten off to slow starts. I'm going to have to think the Golden Eagles have got to find a way to get moving a little bit better. Fastball swung on. It's going to be lifted foul. Count now goes to 0-2 on Asamura. It's like they've kept their bats in the freezer all winter. That takes them a good solid month to thaw it out. Crowd showing their love for Asamura as he takes a breaking ball outside. The count goes to one and two. 82 pitches so far for Suzaki here tonight. With a 6-1 lead, I wonder if he'll come out for the seventh and then tap out after that. So one ball and two strikes it is. Pitch on the way. It was a split finger pitch that misses down, and the count now runs even to two and two. So two balls and two strikes to Asamura. He has been able to induce one double play ball tonight. As the 2-2 two -two pitch is on the way, it is a fastball that's taken for a called third strike. Oh, Asamura didn't like the call, but I got to tell you, there was a lot of movement on that pitch. 
And Sasaki was able to lock up the hitter. We'll get a look at that one. It looked like eh, maybe it was a little bit down, but too close to take with two strikes. Asamura is in the books for out number two. And that's going to bring up the designated hitter, Hiroki Shimochi. The old adage, you never trust the umpire with two strikes. And that would come into full play right there. There's a first pitch fastball that misses down. Count is 1-0 to Shimochi. Shimochi tonight 0 for 2. He has struck out and grounded out in his two trips to the plate. Pass from the left side against the right-handed throwing Sasaki. There's another split finger pitch that misses down and away, and the count now goes to 2-0. and Giants up 2-1 on the carp. 2-0 now for the Swallows over the Bay Stars. They've extended their lead. Tigers, Dragons locked at ones. Buffalo's Fighters locked at three in the top of the third. 4-0 for the Hawks over the Lions, and it is a 6-1 lead for the Marines. There's a breaking ball take it for a call and strike. I don't think Shimauchi liked the call. It looked like it was a bit off the outside corner, but it's two balls and one strike to Hiroki. Shimauchi asks for time as he wants to get himself reset again here against the Marine Fireballer. And here comes the 2 1 pitch. He delivers fastball swung on this ball, is lifted into right field. And this ball is going to get down, and it's going to get by the right fielder, Yamaguchi. Oh, he's butchered the ball. Oak is back to field it. He picks it up. He fires it in. The Eagles are going to get themselves their second run, and oh, sliding into third is going to be Shimochi. Oh, boy. It's going to be a hit and an error on the play. Murray Piashi is going to come around to score the second run of the ball game for the Golden Eagles. It's not going to be an RBI on that. I'm assuming it's going to be a single for Shimochi, and then it's going to be an error charge to the right fielder, E9. That's going to allow him to advance all the way over to third. We'll watch that again. It was a hit. And then Yamaguchi absolutely butchered that ball. We talked about it earlier that Yamaguchi had a bit of a zoo route to haul in a ball a couple innings ago off the bat of Oka. And now the ball gets onto the ground. It ended up scooting by him. So that brings to the plate Takiro Okajima, and he swings at a fastball and fouls that one off, and the count is 0-1. If you're a Golden Eagle fan, a base hit here cuts the lead in half. And then once you can chase Suzaki, then anything can happen in the back three innings. Let's see if they can push another across. Here's the 0-1. It's a split-finger pitch down in the dirt. The count goes even to 1-1. One and one. 90 pitches now for the Chiba right-hander. I always wonder about that. You get a big first inning, and then all of a sudden the bat sort of goes silent, and that's kind of what we're looking at right here. The exact situation. Marines have only been able to tack one more run on the board since that big first inning. Breaking ball misses down. The count now goes to two and one. So two balls and one strike to Okajima. He's over two tonight. He's flown to center and reached on an error. As the pitch is delivered, it's a fastball swung on. It's lifted into left field. Moving over underneath it is Ido. He's battling the sun, but he makes the catch. And that is going to retire Okajima. He's going to be gone for the third out of the inning. And that is going to do it here in inning number six. So two-thirds of the ball game in the books. But Hiroki Shimochi gets himself a base hit that ends up bringing a run home on an error. So one run in the inning on the benefit of two hits. There was an error and there was one runner left aboard. Your score as we are now through six completed is the Marines six and the Eagles two. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back with the call at the top of the seventh when we return after this. We appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight on the Last Raps Baseball YouTube channel. We'll be right back in a few.
Welcome back, everybody. The reliever Matsui is coming back out for his third inning of work. So Tomataka Matsui has been able to keep the Marines at arm's length since he had entered the ballgame in the fifth inning. He's going to be facing the five, six, and seven hitters in the batting order. It is going to be Sato, Yamaguchi, and Nakamura. As the right-hander kicks and delivers, the first pitch is a breaking ball that is taken outside for a ball, but they appeal to the third base umpire. They say that Sato went around and the count is 0-1. Sato officially 0-2 for 2 tonight. He's grounded into a double play. He has popped out to third as he takes a breaking ball over for a called strike. The count is 0-2. He did walk and with the bases loaded. He's also scored a run and driven in that run. So no balls and two strikes as the right-hander kicks and fires. Fastball swung on. This is lined in the left field for a base hit. And Sato is going to have his first base stock of the night. And the hit parade continues for the Marines. As that is going to be the 11th hit tonight. Check that, the 12th hit tonight off the bats of the Marines. It's the defense of the Marines that has been a little dicey. They've made a couple errors tonight, but... Only one run has come to haunt them. That is going to bring up the right fielder, Koki Yamaguchi, who has been a part of one of those errors. Yamaguchi tonight is three for three at the plate. He's got a couple of doubles and a single. He's also driven in a pair. So I guess that's what you get sometimes from some players. You have to take the good with the bad, and if the good outweighs the bad, you got to go with it. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses upstairs. The count is 1-0. and oh. So one ball and no strikes. Right-hander Matt Sui works himself to the set position. Here comes the offering to the right-handed hitting Yamaguchi. It's a fastball swung on this ball. is belted into deep left field. But there's going to be room and space for the left fielder. Okajima to haul it in. Yamaguchi just missed that one. He got a little underneath it. He's going to be gone for the first out of the inning, and that's going to bring up the third baseman, Shogo Nakamura. And for Nakamura, he is one for three tonight. He's also driven in a run. He's grounded to second and lined to right field. He's had a couple of good at-bats. Looks like the Marines are going to stay with Suzaki for another inning, and that's probably a good decision. Bring him out for the seventh and then bring the last two innings to the back of the bullpen as there's a breaking ball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-1. So no balls and one strike to Nakamura. Side of a Cebu Lions have clawed a run back against the Hawks. They're now down 4-1. to one. That's in the bottom of the seventh. It's going to be tough sledding, I would think, in that one is the back of the bullpen for the Hawks is can be as dominant as anything. You've got Roberto Osuna at the back end. You've got Matsumoto as well as the 0-1 pitch is ready to be served here. Yeah, and here's the offering. It is a breaking ball swung on and tap foul over on the third base side. The count now goes to 0-2. So no balls and two strikes to Shogo Nakamura. Right-hander Matsui checks the runner at first. That's Sato, the catcher, and now here comes the pitch to Nakamura. As he kicks and delivers, breaking ball swung on. This ball is lined in the left field. This ball could be trouble, and this ball is going to be just hooking foul. Oh, boy. Just got around it a little bit too much. That ball was scorched into the corner. The outfielder, Okajima, was going in after it, and he did not miss that by much. Very, very fortunate were the Golden Eagles. Talk about this game being a game of inches sometimes, much like the sport of football. And that would have been it right there. If that ball would have stayed fair, 
Even though Sato is not the fastest runner, he might have had a chance to score from first. Now there's a fastball swung on. It's popped up on the right side of the infield. Moving over underneath it and making the catch as the first baseman Suzuki. That's going to retire Nakamura. So you go from one moment where you almost have an extra base hit to where you pop it out to the first baseman. Got to battle the wind a little bit. It's blowing in from straightaway center field. So it does pose a bit of a challenge for the fielders. That is two in the books now. That's going to bring up Seichiro Oshida. And for Seichiro tonight, he is one for three. He's got a double, an RBI, a ground out, and a pop out to his name. And here comes the first offering from the right-hander Matsui, who works himself set. And now he kicks and fires. Fastball swung on. It is lifted foul. It's going to reach the seats over on the first base side. Count is 0-1 to Oshida. So no balls and one strike. Two hours and 15 minutes into the ball game here as we are in the top of the seventh. Two gone here. Marines are holding on to a four-run lead against the Golden Eagles. There's a breaking ball swung on, grounded over to third. Fielded neatly by Asamuri, rifles it to first. That's going to go in the books as a ground out, five to three. Oshida is in the books for out number three here. No runs in the inning. They squander the leadoff hit. It was the hit by Sato. No errors, one left the board. We are now moving to the last half of the seventh inning. Your score is... The Chibalote Marines 6 and the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles 2. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with all the action right after this. Appreciate you guys for bouncing in with us tonight. And our friend Titus in the house here with us. As he's popping in listening, we appreciate you as well. Hang tight. We'll be right back in just a few, and we'll chat it up with the chat. Who's ever with us? Welcome back, everybody. We are moving ourselves to the bottom half of the seventh inning. It's a 6-2 Marine lead. And Roki Suzaki is coming back out for his seventh inning of work. And we'll be back in just a few with all the action. Hang tight. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be the bottom half of inning number seven, and it'll be Daichi Suzuki, Ryosuke Tatsumi, and Hikaru Oda to come to bat here. The six, seven, and eight hitters for Tohoku in their half of the inning. Suzuki tonight 0 for 2. He's seen his season average drip to, drop to 320. He's grounded into a double play, and he has grounded out his two trips to the plate. So he is ready to face the right-hander, Suzaki, who kicks and delivers a fastball taken for a called strike. The count is quickly 0-1. So no balls and one strike it is. Suzaki ready to deliver. He kicks and he fires. It is a split-finger pitch and misses down, and the count runs even to 1-1. One one. So one ball and one strike. Suzuki to be followed by Tatsumi and Oda here, as we said in the bottom of the seventh. I would expect probably it would be four batters is what the right-hander Suzuki would probably face as there's a fastball swung on and fouled away, and the count is one and two. They turn it over to the top of the order. They probably would go to the bullpen, so 
He's going to have to do his work here to retire these three or potentially four hitters. As again, Sasaki delivers. It's a split finger pitch that misses outside, and the count goes even at twos, two and two. Even though he's only given up three hits tonight, he's kind of labored at times. You watch him here. He has not had the best command or the electric stuff that he always seems to have. Say that, and he's got himself a 6-2 to two lead as there's a breaking ball missing down, and the count is 3-2 and two to Suzuki. Only seven strikeouts in the six innings for Roki tonight in this one. 3-2 on the way. Breaking ball swung on, grounded softly to short. Fielded by Tomosuji, who throws to first. Suzuki in the books on a ground out 6-3. to three. He's gone for out number one. I was going to bring up the center fielder, Ryosuke Tatsumi. So two gone here, and that's going to bring up, or sorry, one gone here, and that's going to bring Tatsumi to the plate. He's 0 for 2 tonight. He's grounded to third and grounded to second in his two trips. As the pitch is on the way, it is a fastball swung on, and it is lifted foul into the seats. Count no balls and one strike. Ninety-nine pitches here for the right-hander Suzuki, as he kicks and delivers a fastball swung on, grounded over to the right side of the infield. Nice play by the first baseman. Oh my goodness, what a great play by Oshida! And then he fires a bullet over to first to Suzuki, who makes the play. They are going to re review this. I don't think they're going to win this one personally here, but we're going to see how this is going to work. So Oshida had to go deep to his right, have to field the ball. He ends up fielding it, and then he fires a bullet over to first. He kind of threw it behind Suzuki. They are out to have a word with him. The medical staff, the umpires out there with him as well. They're talking over while everything else is there. I don't think they're going to get charged with a trip to the mound here. We'll get a look at the replay ourselves. So far on the replays, we are perfect this year. And I think we're still going to, oh, ah, we might have to get another look at it. So what happened is the Suzaki, they threw it the first and he had missed the bag or overrun the bag. And then he had to reach back and get it. Now the angle we have, I don't know if he reached back in time. We're going to have to get a different angle on that. I still think he's out from real time. Right now we're four for four on the season. So let's see what the umpires have to say when they return. I always tell pitchers to, when they run through, you never want to reach back because that tells the umpires that you've missed the bag. But in that situation, because of where the base runner was, he was still quite away. We're going to get another look at it. The angle we have is coming from the third base side. As long as he stabs back to get it, he would have been in time to get Tatsumi, but Tatsumi thinks he's safe. Well, let's see what the umpires decide. They may have a different angle than what we do. As we said, we've only had that one angle so far. So as far as we're concerned, that is an out. But again, if they're taking a long time, here they come. And the call is an out. So now we're five for five this year. So we're uh, on a pretty good roll. The Eagles have lost their challenge. I'm happy with five for five. So that is going to put two in the books here. So it goes as a ground out three to one. That's going to bring up the catcher here. Scheduled to bring up the catcher, Hikaru Oda. Oda batting 211 now on the season. He's 0 for 2 tonight. Struck out looking and flew up to right field in his two trips to the plate. And the first pitch is a breaking ball that misses down. Count is 1 and 0. Oh. So one ball and no strikes. 1-0 on the way. It's another breaking ball missing down, and the count now goes to 2-0. So two balls and no strikes. Well, 
Right-hander kicks and fires. It is a fastball that this is inside. It's now three balls and no strikes to Oda. You have to wonder sometimes if the just that little delay through the pitcher out of his routine or out of his rhythm. There's a fastball taken for a called strike. The count is three and one. Over the course of the evening tonight, only five times have they gone to a full count. It's not going to happen here as that fastball misses up and away. It's going to be ball four as Oda has got himself a two-out walk. It's going to bring up the second baseman, Hirota Kobakata. So 26 batters have come to the plate five times tonight. The count has been run full. So Komakata, he steps in, ready to face the offering from Suzaki. Komakata tonight is 0 for 1. He struck out looking, and he walked his two trips. Swings at the first pitch. This ball is lifted into deep right field, moving back and making the catch at the edge of the warning track. Yamaguchi, and that is going to do it for Kobakata. He's gone for the third out of the inning. Took it for a ride, just not far enough. And one would expect that is going to be the end of the night for Roki. No runs in the inning, no hits, no errors. One runner left the board. We're now through seven complete. Your score is the Chibalote Marines, six, and the Tohoku Racket and Golden Eagles, two. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Appreciate you guys for jumping in here with us tonight, whether you listen live or on delay. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Welcome back, everybody. We are moving ourselves to the top of the eighth inning, and the right-hander for the Golden Eagles is still on the mound. That's Tomataka Matsui. He came on in relief in the fifth inning. He's worked three innings. He's thrown 54 pitches. He's only allowed three hits. He has walked one and struck out one, and that is where he stands here as he is going to begin his fourth inning of work. And he is going to be facing the nine, one, and two hitters in the order. It's going to be Ogawa, Tomosuji, and Oka to come to bat. The first pitch on the way is a breaking ball that's taken for a called strike, and the count is 0-1. So no balls and one strike it is. The one on the way is a breaking ball swung on and fouled away. The count now goes to 0-2, so no balls and two strikes. Now he's definitely choked up a little bit. He shortened up on his swing, and now we're ready to go again. 0-2 on the way. Fastball swung on, grounded over to first, fielded neatly by the first baseman, Suzuki. That's going to put Ogawa in the books on a ground out to three for out number one, and then I'll bring up the top of the order in at Suki Tomosuji. So Tomosuji coming to the plate. He is one for four in this one. And he pitches a fastball that misses inside, and the count goes to one and oh. One ball and no strikes. Right-hander rocks into the windup and delivers, and it is a fastball swung on and 
lifted foul into the third base seats. Count now goes to one and one. So one ball and one strike it is. As the right-hander rocks into the delivery and he fires, fastball swung on and grounded foul behind home plate, and the count now goes to one and two. So one ball and two strikes to top of the order hitter Tomosuji. Golden Eagles trail by four here on the top of the eighth. They're trying to keep the Marines at bay. There's a fastball swung on. This ball is hooked fair down the left field line. It's going to bloop in. Tomosuchi digging for two. Here comes the throw, and it's not going to be in time. That's going to be a hustle double for Tomosuji. That's going to be his second hit of the night. That ball there, it looked like it was going to bleed down, but it looked like it was going to slice foul, but it was able to stay in fair territory. We watched it again. Hats off to Tomosuji running hard out of the box. So he is aboard with a one-out double, and that's going to bring up the center fielder, Hiromi Oka. And for Oka tonight, he is officially two for three. He's also drawn a walk. He's been all over the bases. He's raised his season average to 273. As the right-hander holds to the set, and now he kicks and fires. It's a fastball swung on. This ball is going to be lifted into shallow center field. Coming in on it is Tatsumi. He makes the catch. And that is going to retire Oka for the second out of the inning. Some breaking news if you're listening to us. They, I saw an announcement just flash by my screen, and that is, is that Connor McGregor coming out of retirement, I think? It's going to be fighting in, I think, UFC 303. I guess you just can't stay away. and you, The money has just got to be too good. I remember a few years ago when George St. Pierre walked away. He's walked away, and it looks like he's walked away for good. You know, whatever want to say never. I mean, Mike Tyson is trying to make a comeback in the boxing ring against uh, in a promotional fight against one of those Jake Paul, I think it is. Fastball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-1. This is Ido batting here in the place of Gregory Polanco because he had come in as a pinch runner back in inning number six. So no balls and one strike to Ido. As the right-hander ready to deliver, Matsui checks the runner at second. Now delivers. Breaking ball swung on. This ball is lifted into center field, and it's going to be caught by Tatsumi. And that is going to do it. Ido, the easy out for out number three, and that will do it here in inning number eight. Well, there were no runs in the inning. There was the hit by Tomosuji. There were no errors, and there was one runner left aboard. We're now through seven and a half, six two Marines. We'll be back in a few. to have an ace in the hole a little secret that nobody knows life is a gamble a game we all play but you've got to save something for a rainy day you've got to learn to play your cards right if you expect to win in life don't put it all on the line for just one roll You've got to have a nace in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We are moving to the bottom half of the eighth inning. 
The score line is 6-2 to two for the Marines. We do have a relief pitcher on the mound is coming into the ballgame. It's going to be Yuki Keniyoshi, as he is going to be taking over here for Roki Sasaki. So we'll get the specs down on him, on Keniyoshi here in just a moment. If I remember correctly, he had come over a couple of years ago in a trade with the Swallows. I have to do my quick research on that from our crack team here. Let us know if that is exactly the case. I do believe that is correct. Actually, it was from more correctly from Yokohama. Came over in the middle of the 2021 season. So the right-hander ready to go as he works himself to the set position, and now he kicks and delivers. It's a first-pitch fastball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-1 to Yuya Ogo. It's Ogo, Murray, Biashi, and Asamura here in the eighth inning to face the right-hander. One of the knocks on the right-hander here is, is a walk rate. Fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into shallow right field. It's going to get down. Oh, a nice try there by the second baseman. He had to go really, really deep into right field and down by the line. And the ball, he almost had to play at first base. Ogawa read the angle well. But it is going to be a single for Ogo, and that is going to be only the fourth hit of the night for the Golden Eagles. As he's bored here. I was just looking at that. We're talking about the walks, 226 walks issued in 484 innings by Kenioshi. It's almost a walk every other inning, and that you can't have that. It's just too many walks. I mean, it would be great if you could keep it down around two walks per nine inning, but... Certainly, that is way, way high. There's a first pitch fastball ticket for a called strike. The count is 0 and 1 to Murray Biashi. Murray Biashi, 1 for 3 tonight. He's got a single and three trips. He's also struck out a couple of times. Crowd is into this one here tonight. Some updated scores for around the NPB. The Buffalo has taken a 4 3 lead in the top of the fifth over the Fighters. Fastball taken for a called strike. The count is 0-2 to Murray Biashi. Hawks still have a 4-1 lead over the Lions. That's in the bottom of the eighth at the Baluna Dome. Games in the Central League. Tigers up 2-1 now on the Dragons. That's in the bottom of the seventh. Swallows still holding a 2-0 lead in the bottom of the fifth over the Bay Stars. And 2-1 for the Giants in the bottom of the sixth inning over the Carp at the Tokyo Dome. Here comes the 0-2, but instead Kuniyoshi throws over to first base and getting back in time. Easily is the base runner, Ogo. We're here in the bottom of the eighth inning, 6-2 for the Marines over the Eagles. The Eagles are going to try to get back in this one. They're going to have to do it in this inning, I do believe. At least you got to get a couple of runs here to give them a fighting chance in the ninth. So here comes the 0-2 pitch from Kenny Oshi. It's a split finger pitch. It just misses down. The appeal to the third base umpire. They say Murray Biashi didn't go around. It's going to run the count to one and two. So one ball and two strikes it is. When this one's over, we'll give you the full rundown from around the MPB. And then we will wrap it up tonight, only to come back to you again next week. There's a fastball swung on it is... Lined into right field, it's going to get down for a base hit in front of the right fielder, Yamaguchi. That's going to be a single for Murray Biashi, his second hit of the night. That's going to put runners at first and second, and it's going to bring Hideto Asamura to the plate. Well, for Asamura, he has accounted for the first run of the ball game for the Golden Eagles as he deposited a Roki Suzaki pitch into the left field seats. He is one for three tonight. As we talked about earlier, you got to keep your eyes on teams, especially when they score a lot of runs in the early innings. And boy, have the Marines had opportunity to put the Eagles away tonight. Line score in this one, 6-13-2 for the Marines, 2-4-1 for the Eagles. 
Asamura stepping to the bat plate here with two on and nobody out. Kenny Oshi here. His pitches are finding barrels of the bats. So here comes the offering, but instead, Kenny Oshi steps off the backside of the rubber and he's going to cycle through the signs again with his catcher, Sato. So here comes the first offering to Asamura, and it is a breaking ball. I'll take it for a called strike. The count is quickly 0-1. Asamura digging himself in. Ready to face Kenny Oshi. I'm sure both all the Eagles took a deep sigh of relief when Zazaki left the game. Here comes the 0-1. It's a fastball swung on it is tap foul over on the first base side. The count now goes to 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. So no balls and two strikes to Asamura. Ogo the runner at second. Murray Piashi the runner at first. Kaniyoshi. Ready to deliver here. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Checks the runner at second. Now delivers. Split figure pitch swung on. This ball is lifted down the line in right field. Giving chase is Yamaguchi. But it's just going to slice foul into the seats. It's going to keep the count at 0-2 to Asamura. So no balls and two strikes, it remains. Runners at first and second here. Nobody out in the eighth inning. Right-hander against the right-hander. Kenny Yoshi ready to go again as he... gets his side from his catcher's saddle. And here's the pitch. Fastball that's down. Nice stop there by the catcher, Sato. Keeps the runners at bay. One ball and two strikes it is. Golden Eagles here hanging around a little bit. Especially after they chase the starter, Suzaki. They've got a chance here to claw back into this one. Here comes the one-two pitch. Kenyoshi checks the runner and delivers. It's a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted down the right field line, and this ball is going to reach the seats foul. The count remains at one and two. You just don't feel comfortable if you're a Marines fan with the Golden Eagles here. Getting an opportunity to get back into this one. So one ball and two strikes it is to Asamura. And the pitch is on the way. Another one swung on and another one lifted down the right field line. There's no mystery here. He's just a little bit late, but he is definitely on the pitcher here, Kenny Oshi. Kenny Oshi's going to have to find something to get the timing of the hitter off here. 12 pitches already from the Marines' right-hander in the inning as he's on in relief of Suzaki. So here comes the one-two pitch. As the right-hander holds set and delivers, fastball misses outside, and the count goes to two and two. It's going to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up here. The right-handed hitting third baseman of the Golden Eagles. So two balls and two strikes. Kaniyoshi nods in agreement as he likes the sign that he gets from his catcher's saddle. Here comes the pitch. Fastball swung on, fouled straight back. Now he's right on top of him is Asamura. Pitch number nine about to come up here.
So right-hander against the right-hander, crowd on their feet in parts of the stadium, urging their Golden Eagles on. So here comes the 2-2. As the right-hander holds himself to the set, he checks the runner at second, now delivers. Another split-finger pitch fouled away down the right field line, and this battle is going to continue. This is going to be pitch number 10 of the at-bat coming up here to Asamura. I really don't know the back end of the bullpen as well. I know the pitchers. I just don't know how the usage of the Marines' bullpen is being determined here. And there's the pitch. It's a fastball swung on. This ball is lifted into deep right field. Underneath it is Yamaguchi. He makes the catch. Tagging at second and heading to third is Ogo. That's going to put runners at the corners. So Asamura, a good at bat. Nice solid 10 pitch at bat. Took the pitcher to deep right field. Retires Asamura for the first out. And that's going to bring up the designated hitter, Hiroki Shimochi. And for Shimochi, he is one for three today. He has a single in three trips. So whatever they can do to try to bring home Ogo to cut the lead. He's up here at the plate trying to do that. Seven for 37 on the year for Shimochi. Not off to a very solid start, that is for certain. As the right-hander works himself to the set position, here comes the pitch. Breaking ball, just misses outside. The count is 1-0. and 17 pitches here for the right-hander. He's trying to get himself a ground ball. I'd be curious here in this situation if they would be able to roll two. Shibochi not as fleet of foot anymore. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball swung on, popped up in the shallow right center field. Coming over is Yamaguchi, makes the catch, tagging at third, but then retreating as the base runner, Ogo. So Shibochi hits it, but not deep enough to be able to get the runner over and in. He's gone now for the second out of the inning, and it's going to bring up the left fielder, Takeru Okajima. So a collective sigh of relief in the dub by the Marines brass. So runners at the corners now with two gone, and Okajima stepping to the plate. He is officially in this one 0 for 3. He did reach base on an error back in the second inning, but he's flown to center and flown to left. He facing Kenyoshi here for the first time tonight in this one. As the big right-hander gets onto the rubber and he gets the sign from his catcher's saddle, he works to the belt. And now the pitch on the way. It's a fastball that misses just outside. Count is 1-0. and oh. So one ball and no strikes to Okajima. Talking earlier a little bit about some of the Japanese players around the NPB and how they were making out. We talked about Suzuki. We talked about Yoshida. Most of the others are in the arms race. So two balls and no strikes. And the pitch on the way from Kenny Oshi. Fastball swung on, grounded to short. Nice play by Tomosuji. Flips it over to Ogawa covering it second. That's going to be a fielder's choice. That's going to erase Murray Biashi. It goes in the books as a 6-4 fielder's choice for the third out of the inning. That's going to do it here in the eighth for the Marines. It looks like we're going to have a pitching change for the Golden Eagles when we return. No runs, two hits in the inning, no errors, and two runners left aboard. We're new, now moving to the bottom half. We'll check that the top half of the ninth inning. Your score is the Marines 6 and the Eagles 2. Hang tight, everybody. We'll be back in just a bit. Appreciate you guys for jumping in. Our friend says over five and a half. It's been over five and a half. 
the score is, I think, six to two. So I'm not sure what the over five and a half you're looking for is. But I think you've already reached it. We'll be back here in just a few. We appreciate you guys for being here with us. Hang tight. Moving to the top of the ninth inning, your score is 6-2 to two for the Marines. We'll be right back in just a few. Appreciate you guys for checking in with us tonight. Be right back after this. Welcome back, everybody. It is going to be a pitching change as we're going to see Kataro Samia coming into the ball game. He is going to be replacing Tomotaka Matsui, who was excellent in his four innings of relief tonight. So he is passing the torch over to Samia, who is going to be entrusted to have to face Neftali Soto, Toshia Sato, and Koki Yamaguchi. And the first pitch is swung on and it's grounded to short. Fielded neatly by Murray Piashi, and that's going to go in the books as a ground out 6-3. So one pitch and one away here in the ninth. That's going to bring up the catcher, Tashia Sato. And for Sato tonight, he is one for three in this one. He's got a single in three trips. He's also had a walk and driven in a run. And he pats here, or comes to the plate for the fifth time tonight. As the right-hander, Samia, delivers a fastball that misses outside. The count is 1-0. and oh. So one ball and no strikes. Right-hander delivers a fastball that misses down, and the count now goes to 2-0. and oh. So two balls and no strikes to Sato. Here in the top of the ninth inning, Marines have a 6-2 lead over the Golden Eagles. Time is running out here for the Golden Eagles as they'll have their last wraps coming up in the bottom of the ninth. Fastball misses outside to Sato. It's now 3 and 0. Oh. So three balls and no strikes. After this game is done, we'll give you the full recap from around the NPB as that fastball is taken for a call strike, and it's now 3 and 1. Last pitch poured in at 96 miles an hour on the gun. Sayama working himself to the set. Now he delivers. Fastball misses outside, and that's going to be ball four. Sato is going to be aboard with a one-out walk. That is going to bring up the right fielder, Koki Yamaguchi. Well, for Yamaguchi... He's had himself a decent day at the plate. It's a different story in the outfield where he's made an error today and made a couple of adventurous plays, but he is three for four. He's got a couple of doubles, a single. He scored a couple of runs, and he's driven in a pair of runs tonight, so he's been a major contributor to the offense of the Marines. So here comes the first offering to Yamaguchi. It's a fastball that misses down for a ball, and the count is 1-0. Oh. Be followed by Shogo Nakamura here in inning number nine. So right-hander against the right-hander as the right-hander Siyama. Samia gets the 
signal from his catcher, and he delivers a fastball inside. The count is now 2-0. and oh. Having a little bit of difficulty locating his pitches here after that first swing and ground out. That's the one thing that bothers me is when a new pitcher comes into the ball game, a hitter comes up and he swings at the first pitch he sees. You don't want to let that guy get into a groove. There's a breaking ball that misses upstairs. It's now three balls and no strikes. And the right-hander, Samia here, he is definitely having some problems locating. Three balls and no strikes it is. And the right-hander ready to go again. Here's the pitch. Fastball misses down and away. It's going to be ball four. And Yamaguchi is going to be aboard with a walk. That's to bring out the catcher. It's going to put runners at first and second. It's going to bring the pitching coach out to the mound as he's had back-to-back -back walks. That's going to bring Shogo Nakamura to the plate with two aboard and one gone. So they're having their confab here on the mound. Trying to settle the reliever down here. You want to try to keep the Marines at bay here. You don't want to give them any more runs. You're already down by four. And you can't defend the walk. You're walking them all over the place. Some additional scoring at the Kyocera Dome. The Buffaloes now have a 6-3 lead over the Fighters. And it is going to be a pinch runner here for Yamaguchi as Wada has come into the ballgame. And the first pitch is a breaking ball that misses upstairs. The count is 1-0 and to Shogo Nakamura. Nakamura batting from the right side here. Batting 216 on the season now. As the right-hander... Works himself to the set position, and he delivers a fastball that misses down and away, and the count is now 2-0. and oh. So two balls and no strikes it is. Big-time difficulties here as he's thrown 12 pitches in the inning, and only two have been for strikes. There's the 2-0. -oh. Fastball at the knees for a called strike, and now it's 2-1. That's always the problem when you deliver a pitch that is a strike. Now they can tie me up. So let's see what happens. Two balls and one strike it is to Nakamura. The right-hander holds set. Now delivers. Fastball misses inside. That was at 94. Almost hit Nakamura. It's now three and one. All I know is the Eagles better get their bullpen going if they want to stick around in this one. One thing I got to get the Japanese fans credit for, we saw it when I was in Japan as well, is they don't leave. The game is uh, could be a blowout. The game could be 25 to 1, and they stick around for the most part. Fastball misses down. It's going to be ball four. So a trilogy of walks back to back to back here in the ninth inning has loaded the bases. It's going to bring Seichiro Oshida in, up to bat. It's also brought the shortstop Murray Biashi in to have a word with his pitcher. So we got the bases full of Marines here, and it is Oshida coming to the plate. Or is it? Looks like they may have a pinch hitter here for Oshida. If that is the case, we'll check that for you here. It is going to be a pinch hitter. It's going to be number 10. This is going to be Kyoto Ueda. So the infield is in for the Golden Eagles. And the first pitch on the way is a fastball swung on and lifted foul into the seats over on the third base side. So Kyono Ueda. Ueda, U-E-D-A. So no balls and one strike as the right-hander works himself to the set. Now he kicks and he delivers. A fastball swung on it is grounded foul just past the bag at third base. Oh boy, if that would have stayed fair, that might have had a chance to clear the bases. Because Asamura, I don't know if he would have got all the way over to the foul line on that one. He might have. 
So no balls and two strikes. Base is loaded here, full of Marines. 0-2 here to Ueda as the right-hander Samea kicks and delivers. Fastball swung on, lifted foul into the seats over behind the third base dugout. Count remains at 0-2. He's put himself in this situation as he has walked the bases loaded. Nothing worse than that. You got no command, no control. You just hope that you can get something over the plate that somebody could put into play and hopefully get an out. But remember, hope is not a strategy. Here's the 2 Fastball swung on. This ball is looped over the head of the shortstop in the shallow center field. It's going to get down for a base hit. It's going to cash a pair of runs in. And that is going to put runners at the corners. If the infield was in its normal depth, they probably would have had a chance to make a play. But Ueda is going to single home a pair of runs. It's going to increase the score line to 8-2. to two. As Wada comes around from second base, the pinch runner to score. And the Marines are back at it again here. And the eighth inning as they put a couple more runs on. That's going to bring up the second baseman, Ryusi Ogawa. And for Ogawa today, he is one for four. He's got a single in four trips. He's also knocked a run in. And here comes the offering to him. Fastball misses down, and the count is 1-0. So Nakamura is the runner at second. The runner at first is Ueda. There is one gone here in the ninth. Samia trying to figure his way out of the jam here. And the 1-0 on the way. Fastball misses outside. The count now goes to 2-0. So two balls and no strikes. Again, the right-hander falling behind in the count. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. And it's on the way. It's a fastball swung on, and this is fouled away down the left field line. The count now goes to 2-1 and one on Ogawa. Tanami listening close. He said in the eighth inning, yeah, it's the ninth inning. That's correct, top of the ninth. Eight runs on the board, though. As the pitch on the way, it's a fastball lifted down the left field line. That's going to drift into the seat. So now the count goes to two and two. How's our friend Tanami doing tonight? So two balls and two strikes to Agawa. The runner at second, Nakamura. The runner at first, Ueda. Waiting on deck is the top of the order, Tomosuji. And the pitch on the way, fastball swung on this ball's line. Past the glove of the third baseman, Asamura, and stopping at third will be Nakamura. As the left fielder, Okajima, fielded it quickly and cleanly, that's going to load the bases. Nakamura stops at third. Ueda is at second, and a single for Ogawa, his second of the night. Loads the bases, and we're going to see the top of the order in Atsuki Tomosuji come to the plate for the sixth time this evening. Tomosuji, two for five on the night. He's got a single, a double. He scored a run. He's also struck out, grounded out, and lined out. So he's got a chance here to really pile it on. The Marines had chances early in this game to blow it apart. And they really didn't. Now they're taking advantage here in the ninth inning. And here comes the offering from the right-hander. Samia, it's a fastball that just misses up. That pitch looked pretty good. So one ball and no strikes. I guess the home plate umpire figures he's here for the duration now. I might as well stick around. Not like he's going anywhere. So here comes the 1-0 pitch. It's a fastball taken for a called strike. The count runs even to 1-1. One and one. Final score from the Baluna Dome. The Hawks beat the Lions 4-1 to tonight. Game is now over. Here comes the 1-1 pitch. 
Breaking ball misses down. The count now goes to two and one. Top of the ninth inning in the Baluna Dome. It is the Tigers 2-1 over the Dragons. Pesky Dragons. They've been playing some good ball here to start the year, feeling good about themselves. Here's the 2-1. Fastball swung on. This is looped into center field. Drifting back on it is Tatsumi. Makes the catch. Tagging at third and heading home is Nakamura. He's going to score the ninth run of the ball game. That's going to be a sacrifice fly. It's going to bring home a run. Nakamura scores the third of the inning. Still going to be runners at first and second. It's going to bring Hiromi Oka to the plate. And for Oka tonight, he has had himself a pretty solid game. He's got a couple of hits in four trips. He's also drawn a walk and stolen a base. He's pulled his season average up to 265. As the right hander Samia delivers, it's a fastball swung on, grounded over to third. Asamura fields it, goes to second for the force. And that is going to do it here as Oka has bounded himself into a fielder's choice, five to four on the putout. Well, they got more damage in the inning, did the Marines. They scored three runs in their half of the inning on the benefit of only two hits. There was no errors, and there were three runners left aboard. The score as we move to the bottom of the ninth inning, it is the Chibalote Marines 9 and the Tohoku Rakuten Golden Eagles 2. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few with all the action. Our friend CV says he's still here as well. Appreciate you for being here. We'll be right back after this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste. Hey, I hope you guys have been enjoying the game. My name is Hollis. I've got a YouTube channel called Another Hollis Build. Um, I love baseball cards. I open up brand new product for you guys. I open up old stuff. I do breaks. I do auctions. All kinds of stuff concerning baseball. I'm Friars Faithful, Padres to the end. I also love Garbage Pail Kids and my animals. I have a ton of animals. It's like a mini petting zoo here around my house. I also love my city. San Diego, baby. I'll take you all around the city and show you what's up. Um, if you guys dig stuff like that, cruise on over and check it out. It's another Hollis build. If you dig it, subscribe. I, I'd really appreciate to have more follow me along on the journey. Hey, either way, you guys have a wonderful day or a beautiful, beautiful evening. No matter which one it is, make sure that you make it great, my friends. Big up, Last Raps Baseball. Yeah, Freddy, let's go. One love and peace. Yeah, man. Welcome back, everybody. We have a pitching change. It's going to be Akira Yagi coming into the ball game as he is going to be coming on to face Daichi Suzuki, Ryosuke, Tatsumi, and Hikaru Oda. It's going to be his second appearance of the 2024 campaign. and He is yet to allow a earned run in his only appearance yet so far. We do have, it looks like, a defensive change. Looks like we're going to have a, a new third baseman. Is it looks like Ueda, who had come in to pinch hit there. He's going to get in involved. He'll be coming in at third base. I'm looking to see where the other change may be here and how that is going to affect the lineup. It looks like it is Chitani who is coming in to play at first. So a new first baseman, Kata Chitani. Then we've got the outfielder, Koshiro Wada, taking over as well as Hiromi Oka moving into right field. And that means that Yamaguchi, as we said, his night is done because you wait ahead, come in to hit for him. So there are your changes. And now it is going to be Daichi Suzuki at the plate. The first pitch to him is a fastball that catches the inside corner for called strike count is all one Suzuki. I don't think believe that pitch his reaction as he turned to the home plate umpire. So no ball and one strike. It was, did look like it was inside off the plate. And the 0-1 on the way, it is a fastball swung on it, is lifted foul over on the third base side. The count now goes to 0-2. So no balls and two strikes. So again, we'll wrap this one up at the end of the game. We'll give you the out-of-town scoreboard. It was a bit of a one-sided affair here tonight. As it is a 9-2 lead in this one. There's a fastball swung on it, is popped up over on the first base side. 
Moving over underneath it is the second baseman, and Ogawa is going to haul that one in for the first out of the inning. So one gone here as Adaichi Suzuki pops out for out number one. Well, that's going to bring up the center fielder, Ryosuke Tetsumi. He's 0 for 3 tonight. He's grounded out all three times he has come to the plate. Batting here from the left side against the right-handed throwing reliever, Yagi, and he takes a fastball inside for ball. The count is 1-0. So one ball and no strikes. Fastball swung on, grounded over to the right side, fielded by Ogawa, who throws to first, and that's going to be two in the books. So two quick outs. That's going to leave it all up to the catcher, Hikara Oda. And for Oda, he is 0 for 2 in this one. He has struck out. He has popped to the right, or flown out to right field, and he has walked in his three trips. We'll see if it is going to be Oda here or if they're going to maybe go to the bench. Let somebody else get a swing here. That's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to be a Goro Moji coming off the bench. So Moji ready to hit. He's hitting 136 on the season, 3 for 22, and he takes a first pitch fastball down for a ball. And the count is 1-0. There's some love for Moji in the stands. Some people have their jerseys and his, their towels waving for the left-handed hitting pinch hitter. There's a fastball swung on, grounded slowly over to first. Chitani fields it. He steps on the bag, and that is going to do it. It's a ground out to three for out number three, and that is going to do it here. There was no runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left the board at the bottom of the ninth. Your final score from Tohoku is the Chibalote Marines 9 and the Tohoku Rocket and Golden Eagles 2. Stick around, everybody. We'll be back in just a few. We're going to wrap this baby up. We'll give you all the scores from around the leagues after this. We'll be right back in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to wrap this one up here for you tonight, and we'll give you the out-of-town scoreboard, and then we'll call it a night. 9-15-2 is the line score for the Marines, 2-5-0 and oh for the Eagles. The scoring came early and often for Chiba in the first inning. It was They sent 10 hitters to the plate. It was Atsuki Tomosuji who led off the ball game with a single, then Hiromi Oka singled, and then a walk to Gregory Polanco. And then that loaded the bases. Naftali Soto struck out. And then a bases loaded walk issued to Toshia Sato brought home the first run of the game. And Koki Yamaguchi stepped up and doubled home two more. That gave the Marines a 3 0 lead. And then a single by Shogo Nakamura brought home another run. And a double by Seichiro Oshida brought home the fifth run of the inning. And that was where we stood after a half inning in this one. In the bottom of the first inning, the Eagles got one back. It was a solo shot off the bat of Hideto Asamura as he took. Roki Sasaki yard for the or for the run to cut the lead to five to one. That's where it stayed until the fourth inning when the Marines were able to get one back. It was a leadoff double by Yamaguchi. After a couple of ground outs, he was brought home on a single by off the bat of Ogawa. That increased the score line to six to one. Well, in the sixth inning, the Eagles got one back with one out. It was a single by Murray Biashi. Then after a strikeout by Asamura, up steps Shimochi. He singled to right field. And then Koki Yamaguchi butchered a ball in right that allowed Moribayashi to score all the way from first. That made the score line 6-2. to two. Well, the Marines put it to rest in the ninth inning as they scored again in bunches. 
with one out. It was back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back walks issued to Sato, Wada, and Nakamura. And then up stepped Ueda, the pinch hitter for Oshida, and he drove home a pair of runs with a single. That made the scoreline 8-2. to two. And then after a, another base hit by Ogawa, up stepped up Atsuki Tomosuchi, and he had a sacrifice fly to center field that brought home the ninth run of the ball game, and that's where it ended. Nine runs again, 15 hits, two errors for the Marines, 2-5-0 and oh for the Eagles, your final score, 9-2. to two. We'll take a quick peek at the out-of-town scoreboard from around the NPB. There is a couple of finals that are in now, aside from this one. We'll start off in the Central League, top of the eighth inning. The Giants have a 2-1 lead over the Carp. In the bottom of the sixth inning in Yokohama, it's a 2-0 lead for the Swallows over the Bay Stars. It is 2-1 for the Tigers over the Dragons. That game is now a final. The game was at the Vantland Dome in, in Nagoya. And then the other final in the Pacific League, 4-1, the Hawks beat the Lions. And in the sixth inning at the Kyocera Dome, the Buffaloes are holding a 6-3 lead over the Fighters. And that is your out-of-town scoreboard. Once again, everybody, we appreciate you guys for being here tonight with us. We thank you again for listening to the Last Rounds Baseball YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys will come back again next weekend for some more action from Japan. We really appreciate you guys hanging with us tonight. We'll see you again later. Have a great night, everybody.